Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Can they can just see us. There we go. You can hear me. I think they can hear you guys now. Oh god! I I forgot to mute the stream. Ah, it's it's too late. Look at we, we have faces. Well, yeah, most of us we do. do. We uh. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Yeah? <laughs> you okay, Brad? Dances, no. No. Never. No. Happy Hi, Halloween. <laughs> Happy oh, Halloween. Oh, no. Happy, Happy 24th Halloween. Happy Halloween. Um, Halloween. <laughs> Uh, we, we're not doing, like, a Halloween special, but we were talking about, like, wouldn't it be fun if we just dressed up? Um... Anyway, hi. I'm Nell. I'm your GM for the night. Uh, that's Alex. He's your vampire and your Matthias for the night. That's Brad. Brad. He's your dad and your Sarek for the night. <laughs> Do your homework. <laughs> that's, anyway. That's Ghostface. Uh, they're your Ghostface and your Nasade for the night. <laughs> we don't know who Ghostface is. That's, that's the thing. It might be shy. It might not be. That's the spoken. secret. Okay, she, I was either going to ruin the allure that I was going to say she hasn't spoken <laughs> at all since she's got into a Just don't say anything the entire stream. <laughs> yeah. Nisada is really quiet this game. <laughs> Even more quiet than usual. Hmm. Um, and yeah. Um, thank you all for coming and hanging out. Um, I feel like I'm already ending the stream shit. Uh, if it looks like at any point I can't read, it's because I can't. I also would like to point out I can't see. Yeah. So <laughs> Yeah. Um so if you need Shy uh if you need her attention at all, just like yell Shy in chat. Scream at everybody too. else. Yeah. Yeah. So um uh, God, I'm, a, I'm I'm like, I should put on my glasses. I can't. Fuck. Anyway, um <laughs> <laughs> This is great. Anyway, uh so a little wrap up, a little, a little, um, a little. Yeah. Let the words come to me. Recap. <laughs> Thank you. A little recap. Um, <laughs> last game, um, our uh, three travelers decided for some reason uh, they needed to go bother the puka. And they went to go bother the pukas. And they had a great time. Amazing. Uh, two of them almost got high. They did not commit yeah. to the bit of getting high. No, actually, that did almost happen. Yeah. Maybe no. next time. I can if I want to, though. The, yeah, I was going to say, the, the did, substance is available. Uh, I just thought I got some special drugs. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say, I think you guys got drugs, didn't you? Me. I did. Well, yeah, me, oh, I was okay. going to say, gonna one of like, you I, got drugs. I know we got a drug. A drug. At least a single marijuana. <laughs> At least a singular leaf. One. At least one. Be uh, careful when injecting it. Yeah, don't inject it uh, too quickly. Uh, it might cause a tummy ache. It's true. It's true. <laughs> Tips from your GM. <laughs> anyway, so... Um, and the gang on the way back uh, decided uh, they camped out for a night on the way back to the circus, and they ran into our lovable but dickish rogue Quinn, and um, they camped out for the night. <coughs> oh shit! Yeah, marijuana is illegal for you again, isn't it? Don't you know? Drug circus and a Halloween. <laughs> <Reese's Peanut Butter. laughs> That's actually true. <laughs> that's really good. Yeah. <laughs> that's really good. Wait, hang on. I might be big brain. It's okay. You have friends in Michigan you can come visit and do drugs with. Um, we like drugs here. Yeah, we do. We're, we're pretty pro-drug here. Who the pro -drug. fuck is texting me at this hour? I swear it's not me. I may be on my phone, but it's not me. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, I can't tell you're on your phone. It just looks oh, like that's good. <laughs> it just looks like your entire mask has slurped into the void. <laughs> <laughs> I'm becoming one with the void. Yeah. God. 
Oh my gosh. Shy, does your mask glow in the dark or is it just my glasses? It's just your glasses. <laughs> I think it's just, yeah, it's just the light love her computer. I can't. Yeah. Okay, you know, that makes more sense. Um, I don't have any reference for color. Everything is either red or green. There's no in between. No, none. We all, we all got very sunburned before this. <laughs> You'd be shocked. Most of you are green. <laughs> anyway. Oh. <laughs> right. So, um, let me just get some good, good music going. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Hold on. I almost started playing the entertainer. If anyone sees me disappear, it's me trying to read chat. Or just read in general. I have to get real close and personal. There we go. The music should be started. <clears throat> um, the three of you, um, plus your annoying rogue friend, um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> wake up in the morning. Uh, you guys wake up pretty early, actually. Um, not particularly well rested, but also not like weary from travel. You've been out for a while. Uh, and I think. It is, uh, Sarek. You wake up to rustling outside of your tent. Uh, excuse me? What, uh, what, 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 uh, am I able to discern with my amazing ears, uh, what, what kind of rustling it would be? Is it small? Is it big? What do we got going on here? <laughs> it's a, it's roughly medium-sized, uh, medium-sized so human. Alright, alright. Uh, I think, uh, Sarek will, uh, he'll, like, take a second to have his eyes adjust a little bit, and then he will go to look outside of his tent real quick to see what's going on out there. Um, <clears throat> you look outside your tent, and, uh, uh, the other two as well. If uh, you would like, you probably could also go check. You probably hear a little bit of rustling, but it is definitely right next to Sarek's tent. Um, Sarek, right when you start looking to see what's rustling outside your tent, you do see what appears to be a hand reaching underneath your tent, trying to grab your bag. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna... Okay, alright. Do I just see the hand, or is it just... Uh... You want to take a wild guess at who it is? <laughs> oh, no, no. So, wait, so, I'm sorry. Am I looking outside of the tent, or am I still inside the tent You're, and I see the you, hand popping you were, in? You were about to, like, go outside your tent, and you see it pop in from underneath of your tent while you're inside. Just a okay, how okay, how how close is the hand to my tent? Or well, to my bag? Um, Probably about a foot away. Um, getting okay. a little, Inching a little bit closer. Okay, is he, like, just, like, padding around a little bit? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I think what Sarek will do is, is that he'll look at this and walk over to his bag mm -hmm. and slowly just, like, scoot it away from the hand <laughs> and just watch as he keeps padding around um, for a second. The hand very gently touches the bag and is about to grab it. When you scoot it away, it just grabs, like, a handful of dirt. Yeah, he immediately yeah. throws it to the side and starts patting around again. Okay. <laughs> uh, Nasade, Matthias, do you two wake up? <laughs> yeah, Nasade will head outside their tent. Yeah, Matthias will too. Uh, you both just see uh, Quinn on the ground with his hand underneath of Sarek's tent. Um, and he looks over and sees you two and says, Oh, uh, <laughs> morning! <laughs> He's still just rustling around. Uh, and as he says, oh, morning, uh, Sarek's gonna go down and g lightly grab a hold of his hand and just <laughs> not, not crush it, but, like, give a little bit of, a little bit of grip to it. Slowly applying pressure. <laughs> just slowly apply the pressure, and then, if he doesn't immediately react, Sarek's gonna try to yank him in. <laughs> I think you, like, grab his hand, and you, the hand stops moving for a second, and you just hear a... Oh no. 
Um, you Perfect. yank him in. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna yank his ass. Can you give me a strength roll? Sure. Please, I beg of you. <laughs> he's not. He's not that heavy. It will not be that hard. Uh, let's see. Uh, let me change things real quick. We'll go over here. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, okay, yeah. There you go. Oh, it'd be really cool if my thing showed up. Please, maybe. No, maybe a little bit more. Nope. Oh, it's just doing that again. Oh, yeah. perfect. No, you you fucking just yoink him up into the tent. Honestly, you're probably still holding on to his wrist. <laughs> <laughs> I have him, I have him hold held up so that way his like face is uh, to uh, face to face with me. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he just sits there and stares at me for a second. He's like, "Well, good morning to you too," and he winks at you. <laughs> 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 hey, uh, Sarek will just kind of like. Yeah, yeah, good, good morning to you too. And then he'll just go as he like holds on to him. He'll walk over to his tent, open up the flat, like, and just like step out there and then drop him on the ground and then walk back <laughs> into his tent. <laughs> Crap is shit. Uh, Nasade Matthias, you watch this happen. Yep, um, sure do. And Quinn hits the ground and he looks around and he's like, oh! Mm. <laughs> I was just, you know, trying to... It was a joke, you know? You hear Sarek from inside the tent say, thanks for hanging out, by the way. <laughs> no problem! <laughs> but it seems that went well for you. <laughs> he looks from... Uh, fuck Quentin, and he kind of looks at Nasade confused, and then back at Quentin and just kind of slowly nods. I think it went well. I mean, we're best friends now, so I think that went well. Um, it went as well as I thought it would. <laughs> he stands right, up. I'm cool. He stands up and brushes himself off um, and looks at the two of you and says, So, uh, what's the plan for today? Unfortunately, I think we're returning. <sighs> yeah, I mean, that, that makes sense. I, oof. Whew. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that does make sense. She's been kind of like uber bitch mode lately, so. Just... Hey, language. I'm sorry, Dad. Thank you. He seems as he's uh, just doing shit and like getting ready. <laughs> I think you just saying thank you catches him off guard. He's like, this guy fuck for fucking real, or...? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately. <sighs> yeah, sure is. <sighs> Whatever. Anyway, um... Yeah, and he walks over and starts grabbing his own stuff and slinging it over his back, and he's like, whenever you guys are ready to go, I'm ready to go. Nasade will go over and take down their tent and clean all their stuff up. Ow, yeah. god. I think Matthias is going to do that too, and he's going to uh, walk over to Bartholomew and give him a look over, make sure he's okay. Bartholomew looks happy, healthy, glowing uh, in his own lane. He's doing great. Hydrated. I really like <laughs> Hydrated. <laughs> glowing in his own lane. <laughs> okay. Uh, and. Uh, I'm happy to hear it. I, I, he kind of, like, gives you a little nose and a little lick on your face. And kind of nuzzles you. Aww. He loves you. Aww, best bear. Best bear. Can we get some best bears in chat? That would be very cool. Uh, we love ourselves a big circus bear. Um, bear hype. <laughs> bear hype. Bear hug. <laughs> Uh, yeah, sure, bear hype. That's that's what you'll be saying later on. Um, yeah, and... I'm sorry? <laughs> bear hype? Whenever you guys are ready, uh, Quinn is just ready to follow the lead. To follow you guys. Let you guys take the lead. Words? Ooh. Yeah. You know what? Is Sarah ready? Uh, it takes him a little bit of time, but he, uh, he gets all of his shit together. He checks his... He checks around and see if there's anything else that was potentially taken, though. Probably, <laughs> you know, we'll see. Can you? Uh, oh. fuck, what did we decide was the rule for this? I think it was intelligence. Can you give me an intelligence rule? 
Uh, yes, I think that's what it was. Yeah, uh, by the way, you're no longer stunned. You can take that away. I just have your character sheet open. I needed a reference for rolls, and I opened yours. Wait, stun? Yeah, look on your character sheet where it says intelligence. You have a stun check. Oh, yeah, you're right. All right, yeah, might be, might be. Thank you, thank you. I was like, what the fuck? I think you All were right. high. <laughs> what are you talking about, Jesse? <laughs> the fuck you talk about? <laughs> yeah, you, you have everything. You're pretty sure oh, you got good. everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. I'm glad to hear it. Okay. No yeah. funny business no. this time. He, he this time. says that he says that out loud to himself and then feels awkward about saying it. And then he's like, no, no, we're good. And then <laughs> grabs all the shit and, uh, yeah, no, he's, he's all good to go now. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Um... Yeah. Is there anything else anyone wants to do before you leave? No. 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 Nah, I think I think we're all good. I think we're ready. I can see your faces this time. So like when you guys just like shake your head no, and I'm like, oh yeah, no, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not used to being able to tell. I'm like, wait a minute. Uh, you can see us this time. And uh, the four of you are off. Perfect. And you're not that far from the circus. Um, you guys realize the Puka Village isn't very far anyway. And uh, as you get closer, you can see the tents pop up over the horizon. Um, and it seems to be bustling again. Jesus. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel. I don't want to go back. <laughs> I guess it's a circus. It's supposed to be fun. Yeah, it's fun. Why the last time I was here, I found out I have a collar. <laughs> Nasada might be into that. You don't know. Yeah, you know, you don't kink shame yourself. Yeah. Don't, 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 don't put this into the universe. <laughs> we remember how this happened last time. I refuse. I won't let it happen again. That is very true. Yeah. This is exactly how it happened last time. So, <laughs> uh, the four of you uh, slowly walk up into the circus. Um, you Margo? Actually, yeah, Margo's the one that notices you. You see oh. all of the circus workers uh, bustling around. You see tents being put up that appear to be for games or something? You're not entirely sure. Um, and Margo races up to you guys. I gotta remember the voice I gave her. I'm the GM. Her voice can change. It doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, to be fair, I don't remember what it was to begin with. It's um, been so it long. Very soft. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna say it was. It was like very tiny, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Margo runs up. Oh my gosh! It's you guys. You're back. I thought something bad happened to you. I honestly, I. We all were kind of taking bets on whether you were dead or not. I didn't bet against you being dead. I actually won. Now, Philip. Philip bet against you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> it doesn't matter anyway. Uh, and behind the three <laughs> of you, Quinn kind of like gives like a little wave to Margo, and Margo waves back and says, "Well, you're back. I'm. God, you're a fucking idiot." <laughs> <laughs> what? Wow. <laughs> But Dice is a little surprised hearing her say that. <laughs> Masane is also surprised. Uh, Sarah doesn't say a thing. <laughs> Quinn just shrugs. <laughs> You're lucky that she's only a little allergic to bees. And he kind of shrugs again. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> just a little bit allergic to bees. This is nothing serious. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god, we can see Nell die in 4K. <laughs> yeah, we can. It's not 4K. I wish it was 4K. That's <laughs> like 480p. Like... <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, uh, she, she kind of, uh, looks at Quentin and gives, like, a little, like, just a little, hmm, smile. Like, you know, I'm sorry. Smile. And looks at the rest of you and says, Well, I'm really happy you're back. I'm really excited to see you all. Um, hey, Sarek. Uh, uh, 
Helia wants to talk to you. <laughs> she specifically told me when you guys got back that you needed to go see her right away. <laughs> you know, <laughs> uh, I don't know why. Something about a book? Big but I don't old. think it's supposed to be. I don't think you guys are supposed to know it's a book. And she kind of taps her, like, face a little bit. And she's like, oh, well, I think it's about a book. Um, uh, yeah, no, that's, that's fine. You, um, you don't have to. I'll, I'll see you just in a moment here. Thank you. All right. Awesome. Um, I, uh, it's really nice to see the rest of you. I gotta, I gotta go get ready and, like, get changed and stuff for tonight. Uh, and get, like. I gotta finish my food first. Don't tell Philip yeah. I ratted on him. His food's really good. Oh no, good. I, I plan on talking to him. No, Definitely. don't. Yeah. <laughs> Please no, don't. Yeah. You hey, don't he have just to. Goes, <laughs> he's, he's a, no, no, Philip. Uh, Philip and I need to have some words. Definitely. We don't. Um, you know what? You don't really. You don't have to. Oh, look at the time. I gotta go. Bye. Yeah. yeah no. Thank you. Okay. And uh, <laughs> she skips off. Um. And yeah. What do you guys do? <laughs> well, <laughs> at that, <laughs> Sarah's just gonna turn and look at uh, the rest of the gang. Uh, I guess also addressing Quentin because he's he's just standing there off to the side, picking his nose. <laughs> um, <laughs> he's just got pinky in. <laughs> Not a single thought behind those fucking eyes. No, like it's just. <sighs> <laughs> when looking at him, <laughs> um, Tarek will look at uh, Nisane and uh, Matthias and just say, um, "I'll, uh, I'll take care of this. Um, you guys don't have to go in there with me if, um, if you don't want to, but I, uh, it might actually be easier if I do it myself." I agree. I have a feeling she wouldn't want to see me anyway. Ah. Uh, I, I don't I don't know about that. I mean you're very um nice. You don't have um, to lie to them, Quinn I'll, says. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Quinn <I'm> the... <laughs> Sarah looks over and says, Listen, the adults are talking. Excuse me? It goes right back to talking to Nasai and Matthias. <laughs> Listen, I I I just um uh if anything happens, just let me know. Um, I'm going to try my best to smooth this over. Matthias is going to uh, speak up at this time, and uh, he's going to look at Sarek and be like, Do you want us to stand outside the tent? Like, be on standby? He takes a moment and it just says, Maybe. I... I'm not... I'm I'm not... Um, <clears throat> I'm not afraid of uh, her, but... Um, maybe uh, having you nearby would <clears throat> help. Quentin... I can do that. Quentin I can do that. Uh, gives a little salute and says, I'll stand by and help you whenever you need, Green Dad. And as soon as he says that, uh, the two of the three halflings, Tim and John, will come over and very nervously just kind of, uh, we, a we actually need you, Quinn. And Quinn's like, well, fuck, never mind, Green Dad, and he walks away. <laughs> I expected this. Green that's Dad, okay. huh? I, uh, I guess it's a, you know, I, it, it's a fitting name, Ari, um. <laughs> and he just goes and uh, walks towards her uh, her tent. Perfect. Um, do the the two others do you follow? Yep. Yeah. I'll stand outside the tent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're outside it. Gotcha. <laughs> I ain't going in there. I don't need to see the bitch today. Turn on my scary music. <laughs> <laughs> the only one I fear in this game. <laughs> As it should be. Yeah. She's not that scary. She's just the She's worst. allergic to bees, that's all. Yeah, she's that's allergic to bees. Honestly, if I was allergic to bees, I would also be super pissed off at life. So God, I get I'm it. wondering I'm wondering how she's gonna look. 
<laughs> after the bee attack. Well, I can answer that for you. <laughs> All right, let's go. You can use your eyes to judge that one. Um, I'm scared. Sarek, you walk into the tent. The other two are waiting outside. Matthias and Asade. Um, so... Oh, <laughs> you guys... oh, fuck. You son of a bitch, I just oh, muted. Fuck. I can wait, it's fine. I can wait. If you need to do something, you can. No, I was just gonna sit here. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna sit here and wait for Sarek to be done. Oh, no, 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 no. Sarek, of course your, not. Friends, your friends are standing, waiting for you. They got your back. You walk in... Matthias and, um, Nasade. Um, actually, first Matthias. Um, the third halfling, uh, Tom, walks up to you. I have to make sure I'm getting the personality right. I have the personalities labeled. Do 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 do. Once I find him, <laughs> where's my dumbass? God, this is amazing. <laughs> Sorry, I'm right here. I'm right here. <laughs> The we're other we're in this call with you. <laughs> Where's the other I thought, dumbass? I was dumbass. <laughs> I thought I was dumbass one. Um, oh my gosh. Where where is your personality? Where did I write Oh there it is. Um he Should walks I do over. Mouth okay? <laughs> I was thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> I see it grab in her mouth and I'm like, listen, dude, you don't have to you do can that. See no actually drinking water this time. Oh, shit, it's, yeah. I'm drinking water, bitches. It's vodka. Holy shit! It's straight up just vodka. It's not. I don't like vodka unless it's in a mixed drink. Now, if it was red and I told you it was, like, a juice or something, I'm drinking a Bloody Mary. Um, a very grumpy halfling walks up to you, Matthias, uh, and says, I, uh, hey, um, I don't... I know you guys are, like, doing the whole, like, teamwork makes the dream work thing, I guess. I don't know. Um, can you come with me? I... You and the bear need to come with me. You and the bear. Uh, for what? Exactly? I'm sorry? We need to get you all sorted out and ready for the show tonight. You don't... You didn't think you weren't gonna be in the show, right? Uh, Matthias kind of looks off in the distance, he's just like, there, there's a show. <laughs> we work at a fucking circus? <laughs> God, <laughs> fucking <laughs> bird brain. <laughs> Alright, racist. <laughs> For First really. of all. <laughs> That's racist. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Don't and worry, I, it should I, be I, an easy enough act. For you, at least. I don't know how good your bear is at balancing on wires. Let's go. And he <laughs> essentially grabs uh, your <laughs> wrist and starts pulling you. No! No! <laughs> With eyes, his wrist? His hand joints? Yeah, the... he, he's, yeah got he's got claws. hands. Yeah, he's okay. every, he's... every creature has wrists, Brad. No, I just was like. I, I, I always forget how fucking, like, Matthias's, like, hands work. Because he's just got the You're fucking wings. You're thinking of them as, like, wings, aren't you? Yeah, that's just it. Right? I just keep thinking of it as just wings. <laughs> I'll say, think of him almost like Garudamon. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. Garuda, a cross between Garudamon and, uh, Rowlet's evolved form. I'm into it. Yes, you die. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you die. yeah, that's right. I'm a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> that's hot. Oh, no. <laughs> sorry, that was <laughs> that was just pure instinct. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh my god, a nerd. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god, are you a girl? <laughs> are you a girl that plays video games? I feel like oh I'm on Xbox gosh. Live again. <laughs> Oh, girl! Oh. <laughs> Son of a Sorry. Bitch. As, as uh, Matthias is led away, Nisade, you're approached by um, one of the gnomes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, 
you, uh, the gnome says something that you do not understand. I'm so glad you can't see me just blink <laughs> <laughs> in this mask. Because that's all I'm doing. I'm just looking down and blinking at him. <laughs> it's fitting because you can't see Nasade blink anyways. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Nasade just stares down at them. The gnome puts hands on his hips and starts making a language come out of his mouth that you don't understand again? I don't think we're going to get anywhere at this rate. Uh, he walks over and grabs um, your pant leg and starts dragging you in a direction. Uh, the moment <laughs> they start dragging Nasade, Nasade will like reach down and lightly nudge their hand <laughs> off and just follow them <laughs> instead. <laughs> You're like, listen, you don't gotta be rude about it. <laughs> I don't want you to touch me, but I will follow you. <laughs> um, Sarek. Wow, uh, you, okay. You go inside the tent, you know your friends are Instantly out there. Instantly abandoned. <laughs> yeah, my friends are outside, waiting for me. <laughs> Ready They're, to protect uh, you if anything yeah, bad happens. Yeah, yep. at any point in time, if they hear me scream, they'll run right on in. Exactly. Um, sure will. <laughs> you walk in, and um, it does look like a little bit of a hurricane hit the tent. Um, a bee hurricane of some kind. There's not bees in there, but oh, thank God. There's evidence of maybe bees once were. Hive. Okay, okay. So there's there's definitely signs of a struggle. <laughs> there's signs of a struggle. Um, <laughs> and you see Helia um, standing in front of what appears to be uh, a wardrobe, and she's digging through. Um, a bunch of different very fancy outfits and she turns and sees you and she, her anger just goes like it's from anger to immediate delight Yay. and she's like you're not happy to see me <laughs> 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 she's like <laughs> oh Sarah you made it back I forgot the voice I gave her to fuck give me a second okay Sarek, you made it back. I, I'm, I'm excited, and I mean, I, you. And she kind of stops for a second. She's like, "Sorry, that was unprofessional of me. You made it back safely, um, which is good because uh, you were taking so long that I assumed you and your friends were dead." Uh, that much I understand. Uh, it seems like people are making bets. Yeah. But. Um, <laughs> No, that's that. Uh, that makes perfect sense. Um, but it's it's good to be back. I I'm sorry. I uh, did I come in at a bad time? Oh no! I'm just realizing that um, I didn't really have anything uh, an outfit planned or anything for tonight. Um, and she walks up to you and starts sizing up your armor, and. Uh -huh. She kind of looks at it for a second and she's like, I might have something that will match this. Hmm. And she starts digging through her wardrobe again. Without looking at you, she says, You have a delivery for me? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, uh, of course. Um, just one moment and he'll go ahead and reach in and uh, pull up the package and, uh, and we'll hold it, uh, Kind of like in both hands, like this, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, he will kind of slightly bow and like hold it out to her. Uh, without turning around, she reaches and grabs it from your hands, and uh, uh, without opening it, she sets it down and keeps digging through her outfits. And she pulls out uh, it. It appears to be your standard circus ringleader outfit. Um, but it's mostly black, white, and gold. Oh, and cool. she holds it up to your armor, and she's like, hmm. I don't like how much white there is, and she just throws it across the room, and she starts opening the package that she had set down. <laughs> uh, Sarek will just stand there with his, uh, uh, hand behind his back, kind of like, a saluting. Not like saluting, but like, you know, just hanging out. 
and uh, he'll just kind of survey the room a little bit more and just uh, as she's going around he'll say um, so I heard the uh, unfortunate um, B attack happened um, are, are you alright? Uh, while she's opening up the book uh, she had just broken the seal on it mm-hmm. and she looks at you and says oh I'm fine. You know, um, had a little sting, few stings here and there, but luckily, uh, I, uh, had, a uh, medical treatment and, you know. Why do you care? Um, well, um, I, uh, I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. We'll have to unpackage that later. Unlike this, and she sets the book that she just barely started opening down on the table in front of you. Okay. So, you opened this. Don't lie to me. (laughs) Do you want to lie to her? (laughs) No. He'll just, uh, he'll just sit there and, uh, staring at her. Is she staring at him, or is she, like, looking at the book at this point? Uh, she, honestly, the book is on the table. She's back digging through the closet. She's not looking at you. Oh, okay. He will kind of just do a... <clears throat> Correct. And you know that, uh, it's definitely a fake. For what I could see. You know, having a fake of something that's very, very important isn't valueless. Well, that's partially the reason why I brought it back to you. I wanted to see what your next move was. Unfortunately for you right now, that is really none of your business. But, but, and she pulls out primarily a black outfit with gold trimming and puts it next to your armor and says, hmm, perfect. And she sets it down over a chair that's behind uh, a desk and looks at you and says, but that doesn't mean it's always not going to be your business. You know, Uh, eventually I'll tell you more. I just, I need to know that you're not going to listen to these horrible rumors about me. You know, I just want the best for everyone here. And unfortunately, sometimes others decide that they think they know what's best for everyone. And obviously that can't be true. Only one of us can be right. Am I correct? She gives you what you can only imagine to be is like a very smug grin. (laughs) (laughs) He'll, uh, He'll nod and just say, But, um, if you don't mind me asking, why, why is it that there are these rumors? I understand that they may wish to be against you for some odd reason, but I, uh, I was more or less interested so that way if it comes down to it, I could quash them and make sure that they don't get spread any further. There's people in power that don't like me and don't like what I want to do. And unfortunately, they'll uh, tell a bunch of lies to get people to stop trusting me. I... I really do hope you understand that I can't go too deep into it right now. Um, especially you with your two friends. Um, tell me, what do you know about your two friends? 
and she sits down um, at her desk and points at the chair across the desk from her. Uh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> um, well, he will, uh, he'll take a moment and look at the chair, look back up to her, and then, uh, go and sit down. And, um, as he's sitting across from her, he'll say, well, um, what I know is, is, uh, I believe Matthias to be a very honest and good person um i believe they are uh somebody that can be trusted um as for nisade um he takes a moment longer pauses a tiny bit a little bit longer then says i believe they they are also a good person. Um, somebody that can be trusted. But there, there are still things that I need to figure out for myself to completely understand them. Understandable. Do me a favor. Report back every once in a while to me. Just tell me anything interesting you find out about them. Absolutely. <laughs> Shy, you okay? I, I like, hate this no. lady so much. <laughs> she wants to know all my fucking secrets. <laughs> Fuck her. <laughs> I want my name kept out of her mouth. <laughs> Keep my fucking name out your fucking mouth! <laughs> oh my gosh! All I see is you freaking out! I, just, I don't, I don't uh, want to know this, bro. I don't this want to This is so fucking perfect now, now that we can see each other. <laughs> see me die physically. Oh. Uh. Just anything you find particularly interesting about either of your companions. Um, I don't know if you can tell so far, but they're not completely loyal to me, un unlike you. You are completely well, loyal to me, correct? He takes a moment to, like, like absorb that. And, and, <laughs> Do you uh, love me if I turned into a word? He's like, Jason, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I don't know. You're a bit of work. I guess. Shit. I guess. Fuck. Uh, yeah, no, um, Sarek will just say, uh, ab absolutely. No, I, um, I believe, I believe that, um, they, uh, while maybe... <laughs> is it? I did the I did the Midwestern thing. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. no. Yeah, no. <laughs> Sarah can be from the Midwest. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's putting a little too much of myself into him. <laughs> but, but um, he'll just say, um, yeah, no, absolutely. I uh, while while they may not be exactly um a hundred percent there, I do believe they. They can be good people. People that can be good for your cause. And um, and I believe at least eventually I think they can be uh, trusted to understand eventually. Especially if you um, if you let on more and you know um, try to maybe help them understand I think that'll help out more. Though, I can't say exactly if they will see what I see. But, I think they can be close. Well, for now I trust you and your judge of character. You've been around them 
much more than me, so... I'll trust you for now. For now. Um, that does bring us to the plans for tonight. Because I have an assistant again, I can go a little more grand with my act. Um, and uh, she stands up and behind her desk uh, on not really the wall, it's a tent, but like the back of the tent, there appears to be a giant chest. Um, she pulls a key out of her pocket and opens up the chest a little bit. And as soon as uh, she does, you immediately see what appears to be a hand reach out of the chest. Um, is it Quinn's? <laughs> That's this kneecap she took, no. Um, and uh, as it reaches out, she immediately sits on the lid of the chest, so the hand is struggling to pull itself out. Uh, so will stand up. <laughs> Look at this. It's okay. They won't hurt you. They're not alive. It's my little trick. And she lifts her hand up and... Um, moves her fingers and the hand that's struggling to get out will stop and lifts up and moves its fingers and she says I'm a puppeteer oh my fucking god um, I don't like this I don't want I, I want to leave <laughs> yeah well nope, I, I don't like it anymore <laughs> let's fucking go Shy. let's just leave I don't want to be here no more <laughs> I no <laughs> nope no thanks this ain't safe place no more. Nope. Um, and she smiles at you and says, and I need an assistant for the show because, well, they do like to escape if no one's holding on to them. I wonder why. I gotta be a wrangler. <laughs> um, I, gotta, I gotta be a dead body wrangler. And then uh, we're going to switch over to <laughs> Matthias. <laughs> Uh, Matthias. Hi. Uh, you and the bear, um, are wrangled up, uh, by the two half- by the one halfling. I'm sorry, I forgot who was taken by two of them. Um, god, I'm falling out of my chair. Hold on. Uh, yeah. Halfling for me, gnome for Nasada. Yeah. Bear! Um. Bear. And he- Rumpley walks inside of the main show tent and kind of points at it and says, follow me, and just disappears inside. Okay. Uh, Matthias is going to give kind of a slow nod and follow after. Uh, when you walk in, uh, it's it's a circus. Uh, it's a circus tent. Um, it, it's, it's, it looks like your standard circus tent. Um, but there are two people working in what appears to be a tightrope. Um, putting one up, uh, two ladders, securing them. Um, you don't know what OSHA is, but you feel like it's not a violation to OSHA. And immediately, um, one of the people working, um, they appear to be a, uh, a, a, Hold on. Rebooting. <laughs> Give yeah. me a second. What yeah. the fuck is Sarek, an orc? Uh, uh yeah. <laughs> she used to be a, a half orc on one side and um, a uh, sun elf on the other. And they both, they're, they're putting up this tightrope and, you know, just securing it and putting in like safety nets and everything like that. And they both look down and they wave excitedly at you. Uh, Matthias awkwardly waves back. Uh, and Tom will point up at it and says, that's your act. You have to walk across with your bear following you. Uh, oh. Bear following his ears pinned back a little bit. Uh, uh, Don't blame him. Yeah. Uh, we, we have safety nets. Your bear will be fine if it falls. It, is there... 
Perhaps something else the bear can do? No. Uh, I, I don't know, maybe <laughs> juggling, maybe riding a unicycle, uh, maybe putting a silly clown nose on him? <laughs> oh no, the clown <laughs> nose is really tempting! Oh no! <laughs> Roll charisma. He could do it while doing the type rope. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great idea. Let's make it more dangerous for the bear. <laughs> Actually, with that seven, the, you did convince him. He taps his face a little bit and he's like, you can put a clown nose on him while he's walking across the type rope if you want. Yes! <laughs> we did it. We've succeeded. We did it, guys. Now. We beat the game. It's over. <laughs> Got a I'll clown nose on, a clown nose on the bear. <laughs> That's it. That was that was that was the goal. I think that's at least a hundred experience. At least. <laughs> Bartholomew <laughs> gets a hundred experience points. <laughs> Good for him. He deserves it. Yeah. I don't think mm -hmm. I can even level up his stats anyways. <laughs> I think his yeah, uh, coincide with mine. They do, for now. Um He uh he's like, Yeah, we, we can get you a clown nose. Um, though, uh, all the clown accessories are a fill-up right now, so, uh, uh, I'll have to go grab one of those, um, but get acquainted with the, uh, with the act, and, uh, uh, I'll see you at dinner time. And he walks out of the tent, and the two people putting up the, um, the rope wave at you excitedly and the orc yells down I'm really excited I heard your bear has like amazing balance and the other one says no the bear's never done this before and he's like why why is the bear doing this then <laughs> great question um, uh. I can explain how you do the act when we get to the show itself uh, same with you Brad um Oh, God. It will be a series of roles, much like how we did uh, the activities during Camp Believe. I'm scared. I am terrified too. Yes, You'll be fine. I Don't will worry. let it, be. I, I will let a dead body man out into the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> You'd make Nasade proud. <laughs> Nasade, how to get on Nasade's good side? It's the only way that Sarah gains Nasade's trust. <laughs> Nasade, yeah. You're led into what appears to be a costume tent. Mm. And there's a large chest that uh, the gnome walks up to and starts rummaging through. Can you give me an intelligence roll? Sure. I can try. I believe in you. I believe Thanks. in you too. Let me just... <laughs> Meow. Meow. <laughs> oh, shit. You can tell right away what's in this chest. Do you want to take a guess at what's in it? What kind of costumes? Uh, no, I don't, actually. <laughs> I don't want to guess. It appears to be clown wear. <laughs> of course it is. Yeah. Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> um, you, uh, Philip starts digging through and finds what appears to be uh, a jester outfit. Um, My heart! <laughs> I knew you'd be happy. Um, <laughs> and a little jester hat. Perfect. With little bells on it. Uh, the Yay! Color, the color scheme is gray and teal. Much like your normal nice. outfit. Nice. Um, and <laughs> he hands you the outfit and the hat and immediately hands you what appears to be makeup and a nose. Mm, Nasare will look at the makeup and nose, and specifically the nose, and just, like, drop it <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> Samson they'll keep laughing. the makeup and stuff, but they'll no. they refuse the nose. No, <laughs> put, put it on, damn it! Put huh. it on the mask. Samson is very quiet right now, um, as he should be. <laughs> uh, the gnome will grab the nose and hand it back to you. <laughs> Masade shakes their head. <laughs> um, as 
Nisada shaking their head. Um, one of the halflings walk into the costume tent and just grumpily says, I guess I need the nose. Uh, the oh, little, thank God! The little gnome looks a little confused, but then hands the nose over to the halfling. The halfling responds in gnomish, and then the gnome is laughing. Oh no. They start pointing at Nasade. <laughs> And they, uh, the halfling walks away while waving at you. And the gnome digs through the uh, chest again and pulls out what appears to be a clown mask (laughs) with a big red nose on it (laughs) that absolutely honks when you squeeze it. Samson is now laughing. <laughs> I <laughs> accept it, Shy. Accept your power. Become... I don't. Detroit become clown. <laughs> oh no. Bradley, uh, yeah. Weather Boy says, "Nice costume." Oh, thank you, thank you so much. He's a dad. Yeah. I... I have become dad. Detroit become dad. God, why isn't Sarek here to speak gnomish to these little shits? <laughs> remember, the, remember the time you guys left me for dead? That was great. You weren't it's left. Not the first time, and won't be the last time. I know, I know. You weren't left for <laughs> dead. Yeah, not the number four, but if definitely. If anyone was to survive her, it would be you, so. Yeah, I guess that's fair. I guess so. If she did specifically ask for you. Um, I will put in a good word for you guys. Yeah, all right. I'm sure that'll go well. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, the gnome hands you the mask and walks out um, cool. with a set of instructions as well. And it literally just says, before the show, make the audience laugh. <laughs> Okay. Um, Nasade is just kind of staring at the costume and stuff in their hands. Hey, Shy, what's Nasade's charisma score? Oh, God. Uh, that's a good question. Negative five. Check. Huh. Ah. Charisma 15. Actually, not bad. No, not horrible. Perfect. Well, good to know you're not going to be rolling on nothing. Anyway, um, a little time goes past. Uh, the three of you become acquainted with your roles. At least the characters do. You three do not. And um, dinner is served. Um, oh, I'm, assuming the th- dinner? I'm assuming the three of you meet back up. I want to know what dinner is first. Uh, pork chops. A fucking course! Oh God! Thank you. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> you, Philip. I'll forgive you this once. <laughs> you beautiful bitch. Philip, you absolute king. You oh. thought I was gonna die, but dear God, I might. I just might. <laughs> um, I'm assuming the three of you meet back up, unless the three of you want to go do something else. Uh, no. I hate it here. Therefore, I will go find the other two people that I can tolerate. (laughs) Perfect. Okay. Sarah can walk out of the tent and see his friends are gone. (laughs) And he'll just kind of do like a... Yeah. Right. (laughs) Nice. Nice. I'll remember this. (laughs) Sarah will remember this. (laughs) Uh, In the meantime, he would definitely go and find Philip at some point. Yeah, uh, for sure. Definitely. I think you find Philip um, right after he gets done making food. Okay. Um, Matthias, you've been told by the two that are working uh, on the act with you uh, that food will be done and made by Philip. So you know where to go. Uh, Nisade, Philip did tell you, but you can't understand, so it doesn't matter. Cool. Nisade starves. Yeah. I mean, that'd be a better way to go, honestly. <laughs> At this point. Uh, so the three of you meet up for dinner. Well, at least. Um, actually, Nasade, give me a... Give me a wisdom roll. 
Okay. Give me that good, sweet, sweet wisdom roll. You got it. That sweet, I sweet, believe sweet wisdom. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, you figured out pretty fucking quickly. You're like, mm, dinner time soon. Probably the one that made pork chops. So the three of you all definitely made uh, meet up around Philip's tent. Uh, he is cooking outside and is handing out food to everyone. And you hear Margo, All right, everyone! Uh, we're gonna start letting everyone in soon, so eat up quickly, and then we gotta get ready and get our places set, and it's gonna be a great time! Isn't that right, team? And everyone's just fucking quiet. <laughs> As it should be. Oh, man. Quinn, Quinn is, is not there. I love Margo, but she's definitely that who hired this bitch. I love her. She's so good. She speaks to <laughs> I, can't, I can't tell if she's actually like a brown noser or if she's just like just excited about it. Or if she's just built like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I don't know if we'll ever find out the answer in this campaign, but that's, no. that is my thoughts no, on her. <laughs> probably not. Who did this to you? Who hurt you? <laughs> Who hurt you? I, I think What's I have happening? an answer to that. Where is she? Where is she? <laughs> Where's the trigger? <laughs> Where's Harvey Dent? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know any of those fucking people. Uh, I need to take. I need to be able to read for a moment, guys. I'm so sorry. Uh, Mothman glasses will sit right here for now, though. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Hold Honestly, on. Honestly, I think that looks really good. Thanks. With yeah. just the glasses at the top. Yeah, Thanks. that's that's good. It's like two sets of eyes. Everything is green. I can't read. Okay. Um. So, <laughs> Quinn is not there. Very specifically. Um, he's probably getting his shit kicked in. <laughs> Good for him. You know, you know what? He's earned it. Um, if you suddenly hear Bartholomew dying, then we know what's happening to Quinn. <laughs> um, but you all have dinner. Is there anything you would like to do before dinner? Um, you did see a bunch of people. Well, not before. After dinner. Um, you did see uh, quite a few people who work around the uh, circus slash carnival area. Um, uh, s walk away and go into what appears to be an aisle of games. Fuck. So, so we're, we're all together now. Yes. That's, okay. Yeah. Um, first thing Nasade is going to say to the two of them as soon as they meet up is, I want to die again. Is Nasade wearing the mask? <laughs> Nasade's wearing their mask and not the clown mask yet. Is Nasade wearing the outfit? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Sarek will look at them and just say, What? What the hell are you wearing? The, the small gnome man made me wear this. I, I couldn't you, understand what he was saying to me, but he shoved this into my arms. Are you telling me that Philip not only thought we would be dead, but he's also making you wear this? Philip hands <sighs> you another pork chop. <laughs> he's, he's, is he next to me? <laughs> yeah, I think he overhears that and just like slides a pork chop over. Sarah just takes it and just slides it into one of his pouches and says, Wow, that really sucks. I'm, I'm sorry to hear about that. <laughs> Sarah, I need you to do me a favor. Uh, what, what, what can I do to help you? Can, can you please ask Philip if I have to wear the mask with this? Um, yeah, yeah, hey, uh, and he'll talk in gnomish to Philip. Hey, uh, she gotta wear the mask for this, or she, can she just wear her own? Uh, Philip will look at you and kind of look into Sade and just say, they don't even need to wear the fucking outfit. Like... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, as soon as Philip says that, like what I just did though. <laughs> that is what Sarah does to you. I rose up like mm. And it, like he just like just like looks over at Nasade and then like looks back at Philip and says, What then why why 
Because it's funny. It? It's funny. Sarek, look at me deep in my gnome eyes. There's two ways this can play out. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, Sarek just looks at fucking Phil and just says, I didn't, Phil, I didn't, I didn't know. And, Sarek, and then, you decide if this man lives today. And then, then, then Philip pulls out a third port chop and hands it to you and says, They don't gotta wear the mask, but they gotta wink. And he says, wink, wink, where <laughs> they, they gotta wear the outfit. And he <laughs> slides the poor job over. <laughs> he just takes his hand out and takes it, slowly puts it back into his pouch, and just says, All right. Glad we well, have this no. understanding. No, so I can see. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Why is she sliding him pork chops? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like right in front of her <laughs> while it's happening, right? He'll just look at a Philip and just say, mm, You're right. Thank you. But you also thought I was dead. Phil I heard from Marco. Philip pulls out what appears to be another pork chop and says, <laughs> Listen. Sarah <laughs> puts his hand up and just slowly puts his hand back down. He says, I don't know where you're getting these from now. It's honestly getting to be a little too much for me. <laughs> There's just a line of gnomes behind Philip handing him fucking jobs. Have they been prepared for this moment? <laughs> <laughs> They're just like, all right, boys, if Sarah ever comes back, and finds out about what we did. <laughs> we gotta toss the poor shots. Just keep them coming. Don't keep stop. Keep them going. Mm. Sarek will take a moment as he like looks at the conga line of fucking gnomes and looks back at fucking uh, Philip and just says, "Make it two more." Two more poor shots. Two more. Take it or leave it. You can you ask just... all of those to your inventory. By the way. Oh my god, that's what, five pork chops? Yeah, that's what? five pork chops. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm, I'm <laughs> sorry, Nasade. Congratulations. <laughs> I will never what do you tell Nasade? Uh, hang on, give me one second here. I gotta add all my pork chops. Imagine Nasade sitting there like, what the fuck is he talking about? I and they're, they're just, just sitting there watching pork <laughs> chop after pork chop. <laughs> and and they're just over like... Sarek. <laughs> yeah. and, and he just keeps like looking over at Nasade like, and then, like, moves back. <laughs> but Thines is also watching this with a raised brow. I just asked a yes or no question. What, yeah. what is happening? You see as Sarek finally puts all the pork chops away into a special pouch. And then he uh, looks pretty happy with himself. And he, like, slowly looks over at Nasade and just says, Where for now? Take, take it off later. They won't know. Okay. Shy, what are you yeah. doing? Shut. <laughs> Let me do my thing. Wait, wait, wait. Do you need a she's, break? She's fixing no. her face. She's sharpening her knife. I had to fix my glasses. Oh, I thought you were. Okay. I get You're it. Sharpening your mouth. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that's what Ghostface does. That thing does now. Awesome. Be an awesome kill if you like fucking like chin you to death. Yeah, just sharpen the chin and then bam. Yeah, damn. Yeah. Oh yeah. fuck! Hold on, I fucked a thing up. There we go. No, no, it's perfect. Good job. <laughs> Proud of you. Um. And with all of that, um, do any of you want to do anything before the show? I want to go play the games. Okay. Do you? I need a distraction from my miserable life. That's fair. Honestly, it looks good on you. <laughs> Nasade chooses to ignore. Um, it seems to be only <laughs> only one of the booths, one of the five booths is uh, closed. All of the others are open. It's one that says uh, poetry contest on there. It's closed. Oh, thank God okay. that's closed. I don't think I would have been able to do it. I ain't good up with that. Um, I'm not good with rhyming. Matthias, are you also going with them? I'm just making... I didn't want to assume. Yeah. Okay, is Bartholomew also going? Of 
course. Perfect. All right. Um, Does Nasada just put their arms and say, games? Yeah, Nasada's like, <laughs> fuck yeah, game time. <laughs> Break the character. <laughs> <Fair>. Game time. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, the other booths appear to be some sort of blindfolded challenge. One of them seems to be a uh, guessing challenge. One of them seems to be a dexterity challenge, which I guess technically is the blindfolded one, but it's like not blindfolded. And the other one appears to be a circular tent that's completely enclosed. Um, and when you guys are walking up there, hold on, I gotta read off of the thing. I forgot a thing that you guys would have definitely seen while you're walking up here. <laughs> you find signs uh, leading up to this little alleyway of tents. The first one has dice rolling on it. And it says, play some games before the show. Um, the next one has a hooded figure holding out hands. Um, and it says, fortune teller. The future's yours, just ask. And the last sign you see is a mangled puppet on a string that says, watch as they dance. Hmm. That so I know which one to avoid. <laughs> that purple one looks kind of cool. <laughs> Sarek, you would be aware of that puppet poster. That is not something oh. you can do during the, in the games alley. Oh, no, we can't go there. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> we can't go there. Yeah. God. You'll be going yeah. there later on. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah, I think... Oh, God. <laughs> So okay, can we get a can we get a brief overview of the the first one you announced again? It was the Dex challenge, and then what so, was the others? Essentially, it looks like there's one that it looks like um, a catching of a magical creature with a blindfold on. <laughs> okay. Uh, one seems to be like a number guessing game, and um, one appears to be essentially ring toss, and one looks like a fortune teller booth. Okay. The fortune teller booth is completely closed off. Uh, it's open. People are going in and out. Um, patrons. But you can't see into it, unlike the other ones. Hmm. Ice. I swear to God, if that's Quinn's booth, I will kill myself. She She's laughing. That's not a good sign. Fox, you can see my face! <laughs> Don't look at me! Um, I gotta put um, these game cards to use at some point, so... Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um, well, uh, is there anything you guys would like to do at all? I feel like, uh... Uh... I, think, I feel like Matthias would be really good at the... The old uh, ring toss over there. What would make you think that? Just got a sinking suspicion. Right. Right. I trust you. Okay, that makes one of us. <laughs> I'm, gonna let, I'm gonna let this play out. I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's up to you, though. I mean, uh, seems like there's a lot of stuff here we could check out. I'd like to try as many as we can before we have to go do this miserable stuff. And lifts up their arms. Is there a and the, is, the things jingle when they move? Is there a specific order you all would like to do these in? Because we can do all of them, we can streamline it so we can do all of them. But is there a specific order you would like to do it in? The order Ooh. closest to farthest away from you would be the poetry contest, which is not open right now. Mm -hmm. I wish I could take that out of my hand, because Philip is current. It's Philip who does it. Um, the fucker would. <laughs> um, <laughs> closest to farthest um, is the... Hold on. I'm, I'm just going to read off the name of the cards, because it's essentially what they are. Uh, catch the fairy. Uh, catch the fairy dragon by the tail. Oh, yeah. And okay. then... The next one is guess the feathers on the cockatrice. Ooh. Um, the next one is ring toss. And then the fortune teller booth. <clears throat> I like that it's two magical things. 
ring toss, and then fortune teller. Okay, so it is. Here's the dealio. Um, it is supposed to be a magical thing. I don't like rabbits that much, and I've already done my quantity of rabbits I can handle with the Puka Village. So it's just normal ring toss. That's fair. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> yeah. Gotta have a little bit of normalcy after all the magical shit. Yeah. God, if it was just like little wooden gnomes, <laughs> they had to get the, it on the top of their bones. <laughs> I would fucking race over there. <laughs> <laughs> Philip's standing out there. He just has his two fingers out. <laughs> it's like, all right, throw them on. <laughs> would you guys like to do them in order? Is my question. Hey, we uh, might as well. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, Matthias looks at Nasade. Uh, is there any you want to do first? I say we just do what is closer and then end off with the fortune. Oh, yeah. Right. I, I haven't had a fortune right. set red in forever. At least hmm. I think. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I just right. want to see who runs it. Hmm. I have a suspicion. Oh, man. Please don't tell me it's Philip. No, doubtful. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, we could try our, uh, our best. I think to he's try too to... short to reach the palm reading. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Ooh. Fucking. Jesus, the fucking... Shy. <laughs> I can fucking, fucking Snack will look down at him the side and we're like. You okay, buddy? <laughs> and then he'll just like. That, that was a good one. That was, that was good. <laughs> what do you mean? There we go. <laughs> Fair enough. Let's go and try our hand and try to catch uh, this thing. <laughs> Perfect. So you guys walk up to the booth, uh, catch the fairy dragon by the tail, um, and it is run by the halfling. Uh, halfling. Why did I say it like that? Um, it's his last name. Tim. Tim Halflin. Tim Halflin. <laughs> that sounds like a really bad comedian. Um, Tim. And he... I have to double check and make sure I'm reading the right one. Because the only difference between these three are their fucking personality. Um, he gives you guys a lazy smile and says... Hey guys! Do you wanna... And there's a little bit of a line at his booth that's starting to clear out as someone else finishes up a game. Um, and says, you, uh, you guys wanna give it a go? All three of you? One of you? You know what? I'll, t I'll try my hand on it. Perfect. And yeah. He looks, uh, <laughs> he pulls you behind the booth and puts you, like, in a little cage. I'm sorry? And it's not like a caged cage. It's just obviously pen. like a bird cage of some kind. Like larger. Okay. It's like a pen. Larger. I'm really glad Matthias didn't do this. And um, she was a little racist. <laughs> <laughs> and um, immediately uh, throws you a uh, blindfold and says, first game's on the house. I want to see you do badly. Nice. Awesome. Uh, how, how nice of you. All right. And he looks at the other two of you and says, it's two gold each time you want to try it, by the way. Right. Okay. Uh, and uh, he hands you that blindfold and says, put it on. And All I'll right. release the little beast. And in a little cage, it's like it looks like a little bird cage. And there's a small um, fairy dragon. It's okay. maybe uh, 10 inches tall altogether. Um, and he opens the cage and immediately crawls onto his shoulders and starts, like, nuzzling his neck. And he's like, huh? uh, rules are, if you pull too hard on her tail, uh, I get to kick your ass and I get to keep running. <laughs> uh, but you have uh, 35 seconds to try to catch it. 35 seconds? Jesus. I like this one. I like this uh, guy. Right. <laughs> so, okay, explain explain to me a fairy dragon. Which part is it fairy and which part is it dragon? Can you see it? 
Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I can get a, I can get a feel for it's it. It's essentially a fey dragon. It's a teeny tiny little dragon. I just pictured Tinkerbell with a dragon head. No, that's basically it. Yeah. I was thinking of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. No, that's yeah. Also accurate. Yeah. <laughs> good. Okay. All right. All right. You're gonna going. Fucking... You're gonna be rolling. Um. I hate this already. You can you can fit <laughs> four rolls in thirty five okay. seconds. You are blindfolded. Okay. Okay. So your dexterity will go down. So you have to roll at negative one. Uh, I believe oh, you, on your you, stat sheet here it is negative two. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah perfect. Two. And, uh, perfect. I knew I was. I was like, all right. I'm like, this is the one I gotta do for sure. And immediately he lets the little dragon crawl into the cage. Uh, it's obvious that it can crawl in and out of the cage pretty easily. And, oh, okay. Um. The little dragon crawls in, and then he's like, "Time starts now!" <laughs> and circle just start putting his hands out. <laughs> uh, give me a dexterity roll. All right. We will. <laughs> oh. Damn. Uh, you actually graze part of its uh, tail for a second. All right. Um, and you almost get it, but it slips away. Um, but honestly, the immediate, like, you immediately reaching out and kind of finding it, um, you feel less shaken by having a blindfold on. You can take that off. The shaken. Oh. Yeah. I was, I was like, oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, give me another roll. All right. Then, uh, yeah, he'll, uh, he'll start to feel around again, and then he, ooh. Okay, you okay. almost get it. You're so damn close. So uh, close to getting it. So God close. Damn it. Where the hell is it? Give me another roll. Ah, uh, fuck. Uh, I mean, shit. I mean, <laughs> don't listen to that. Um, <laughs> it's... it's... <gasps> oh. What did you roll? An 11. Oh, damn! Oh my God! There's all your dexterity rolls for the night. <laughs> That's it. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I blew it on this game. I peaked. absolutely able to grab the dragon tail. Um ha! You don't grab it too hard. Um, you don't fuck up any of your rolls, so you don't accidentally like pull it. And um, as soon as you yeah. grab it, uh, yeah, I get it. <laughs> you hear, you hear Tim. Yep, got her. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> let her on go, and uh, we'll get you a prize. All right. And he just like he lets go, and he doesn't take off the blindfold. Perfect. He still has. <laughs> um, do me, do me a favor. Yeah. Roll a single d8. Okay. A seven. Damn! It's the exact one that I'm like, I might break my own rule over. <laughs> Yay! Oh, boy. <laughs> Let this be known that Nellie Kay is putting a spider in her game. Yay! And it's all yours, we, Eric. We did it! <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, he reaches in and he grabs A and he's like, and for the amount of time it took you to get it, here you go! And he hands you... It's a stuffed spider toy. <gasps> okay, okay. As an action, you can stroke the spider to gain the benefit of spider climb. Once used, the toy turns into a real spider and will crawl away. Oh, what? You can become Spider-Man for two <laughs> seconds. <laughs> oh my god! Um, that I, is, I don't want him to leave me. That is all yours. Then you can't use him. <laughs> oh no! Um, he, uh, he, will, he will hold on to it for a moment with his uh, and look at it and just say, I will name you Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> and then, Arthur's not uh, becoming a reoccurring character once he turns into a real spider. I need you to know I, that. <laughs> I know, I know. I mean, I'm like, he is I'll, gone. <laughs> I'm like, I will make a, I will make a name for him now, so that way it's harder for later. <laughs> Perfect. Um, Plus, it's something I can put in my inventory. Uh, let's see. And I was. It's called the cuddly spider toy. It is extra cuddly. Oh, this is actually a lot softer than I was expecting. And uh, he, <laughs> Tim. Looks at you and says, "Yeah, well, just be careful because once you like rub it and it becomes a real spider, that fur becomes prickly as fuck." Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's uh, it's okay. real gross. Okay, it's I'll, I'll try not gross. to do that. Um. Okay. Ow. Well. Well. Thank you for that. Uh. Hey, guys. You you see this? And he just holds out his little little spider. He's like, I didn't think I was gonna do it. Honestly. 
<laughs> do the I other am two, also surprised. Do the other two want to try this one, or do you want to move on? No. Did it look cool when I was doing it? Uh, Sonny will try a different game. That's fair. No, no, no. You can do it. If I can do it, y'all can do it. Listen, Nasade doesn't need to figure out how uncomfortable it's going to be to have a blindfold over a mask. Yeah, no, that's fair. I want you to wear your clown mask over your mask with the blindfold. Hold <laughs> <laughs> me too soon, Nasade brought the clown mask can with them. Can someone do art of that? Oh, that would be wonderful. <laughs> um, Should I have a commission? <laughs> um, Matthias, would you like to try this game or would you like to move on and try another game? Uh, no, Matthias is not because uh, Birdcage. No, that's completely fair. I feel like you would be very uncomfortable with that. He um, takes one look at the Birdcage and turns around. I'm so sorry. Frankie wants pets. And I, can't, I, love Frank. I can't say no to him. Wait, was this racist? No, it wasn't a birdcage. It was like, it, anyways, it doesn't matter. I hope Tim said that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so son? you three move on. Yay! And um, the next one is guess the father, the feather, guess the father, the father, guess the father, <laughs> you are the father. <laughs> Derek, you're the father. Do not turn this into Mori. <laughs> uh, <laughs> guess the feathers on the cockatrice. Um, you get three tries. Three tries. Um, for the number uh, to guess the number of feathers on the cockatrice. So you guys walk up, and you see Tom. That is my leg, you motherfucker. You see Tom. Be nice to Franklin. Uh, Franklin. Franklin. It's our leg now. It's our leg. <laughs> You're a communist. Why are you saying mine? <laughs> <laughs> um, who's sitting there all grumpy, just like petting the cockatrice? Uh, by the way, this is what a cockatrice looks like. If anyone's curious, he's. Uh, Ooh, it's a little different beautiful. than what I was expecting. Yeah, okay. Beautiful. It's a chicken dragon. Yeah, look how pretty it is. Chicken dragon! I love the cockatrice. They're so good. Me too. Um, oh, it's a chicken dragon. And he's just scratching under its beak until you two walk up uh, and another group of people walked away and they're like, I think the game's rigged. Yeah, there's no way we didn't get that right. And uh, you two see, well, you three see Tom sitting there and he just kind of like, kind of like glares at the three of you and says, what do you want? A uh, quick question. Yeah? If we make eye contact with the cockatrice, we're not going to become petrified, are we? No. Okay. Not yet. Unless. <laughs> Unless you piss it off. Fair. Whatever you do. Hey, yo, how do I piss it off? <laughs> <laughs> <It's not enough. laughs> um, but I just want to know. Uh, he's, uh, what do you guys want? We would uh, like to try the game. Two gold pieces. Y'all trying it? Uh man, I'm I'm not good at uh I'm not good at guessing games like that. I'll uh, I'll sit out. It, oh, yeah. Sir, it does require intelligence to do it. What? <laughs> what? Definitely be sitting this one out. Nasade will put two gold pieces down. Let me actually look for my gold. Uh, he takes the two gold pieces and throws them into a bucket and says, All right. Here we go. Look at it and tell me how many feathers you think it has. All right. And it's intelligence, correct? It is intelligence. Uh, you get three guesses. All right. Do I actually have to guess them or am I just rolling? You're just rolling. Okay, thank God. Guess them. Uh,. You look at the cockatrice, and how confident do you yell out your answer? What even? What was? What did I get? <laughs> I can't see. You got, you got a, a ten. You got a ten. You got a success. Okay, cool. Um, Nasade just says it neutrally. Perfect. You say it, and Tom just kind of glares at you and says, "See, I knew you were the smart of the three. Roll me a D8. See, that's, D8, all right. That's not nice. <laughs> I didn't right. say it was nice. Yeah, I, I, I can see that. 
You want eat? nice. You want to talk to my brothers? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Uh, he shuffles underneath his little, like, stand, and he pulls out, um, uh, a bottle of wine and slides it over to you. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> it is a bottle of witch light wine. The bottle plays calliope music whenever it's uncorked and there's liquid inside. Oh my god, that's awesome. It plays music. <laughs> Decided to just dump it, it on the fucking map. Plays <laughs> music. I want to emphasize. It says escape. it plays. It plays music when there's liquid inside. It doesn't have to be the wine that's in there. <gasps> it's a gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> <laughs> Watch you just slowly sink out of the frame. It's really fun. <laughs> <dying. laughs> oh god. All right. I gotta get real close here. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Tom leans into Nasade when you grab it and says, If I hear you telling out anyone the answer, I will fight you. I wouldn't dream of it. Thank you. I like to see people struggle. Mm -hmm. We can we can bask in that. Isn't that right? He scratches the cockatrice's neck and then immediately says, Next! <laughs> How much does it weigh, by the way? Uh, one. Cool. Your spider also weighs one. I keep forgetting okay. I have to assign weights to stuff. No problem. What about my pork chops? All one as well? Um, or? your pork chops, I'm gonna say they're one altogether, just because that's an absurd amount of food to not clump together. Okay, fair enough. I'll just, you see as he just stacks them. A bundle of pork chops, five useless. <laughs> one meat. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, this is perfect. Um, and then the three of you walk up to the the next booth. The ring tall. You see John. Um <laughs> you three walk over I forgot this is why I signed into this. You three walked over and uh there's a little kid crying because she cannot win at this stupid game. And she's like, I can't do it! <laughs> John's like, it's okay. If it makes you feel any better, I can't even do it. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> and she's like, you're making fun of me. And she walks away and he's like, but I'm not. I just, I, I sometimes actually hit myself with the rings. Okay, she's gone. Oh, hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> You guys wanna toss some rings at some bottles? Uh, Matthias <laughs> awkwardly looks at, uh, Theric, and then looks back. Mm. He just does one of these, mm. uh, <laughs> What? <laughs> sure, yeah, uh, funny. I, I guess I'll give it a try. Perfect! A discount, because you're really nice. <laughs> Thank you. One gold See? coin. Okay. Hey yo, uh, d I <laughs> Sarah got this for free. Matthias got it on a discount. Oh my god! Oh shit! No, you got you got a, you got a yeah, you got a singing wine bottle. That's what you got. Do you know how much that's gonna be painful with Samson is the, so fucking the excited. In my mask. <laughs> the boy Samson is so fucking excited. It's like fuck yeah, wine that sings. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, that's so good. Um. You see, his facade is mask just frowns the entire way back, <laughs> <laughs> like over to this booth. <laughs> God, just God like damn the it. moment that the bottle got put in their hands, the mask just shifts to a frown and just stares at it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you okay. <laughs> So, <laughs> Matthias, Matthias tries it? Yeah. Alright. You got I'm this, buddy. Try it. You got it. You better be right, Sarek. I, uh, I, I have a good feeling about this. It makes fun of us. <laughs> okay. so, I wish I could inspire you. <laughs> there is three bottles. Okay. You only need to get one of the three rings that you're throwing on one of the bottles to win. Every How many chances? Uh, you get three chances. You get three rings. Um, okay. If you um, hit, uh, 
if you get it, uh, or I should say, when you throw the ring, um, uh, you can tell that the bottles kind of shift around a little bit. They kind of slide a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, very clearly, some enchantment making them slide around a little bit. Ah, uh, there's the magic. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> you only need to get on one bottle. Uh, but if you get it on all three bottles, you get two prizes. Oh, okay. Show them up. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to need you to throw, uh, use dexterity. Okay. Okay. Uh, Matthias, uh, <laughs> okay, what were you going to do? Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, one more time? Oh, I thought Shy was going to do something. No. Nope. Okay. You're, uh, you're both just saying, okay. <laughs> just when you said okay just hit me different okay uh matthias is going to uh kind of take a deep breath and then he's going to uh take one of the rings and he's uh he's gonna throw it Yeet. Uh, yeah that that bottle like immediately shifts out of the way and you just throw it like without any problem and john's immediately like oh my gosh it's like you're, an, like, good at archery or something. This is awesome! Uh -huh. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You got two more rings! Yeah. You should uh, do, buddy. He, he's gonna... He's gonna nod and uh, throw another one. Hold on. I can't yell about something. I love Franklin. Ah! Murder is good, mother. We have murder in this house. Uh, it. Hello? Hello? Scream for murder. <laughs> That's not I can't tell. the scream I was expecting. I thought I heard yelling. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Anyways, so. Um, the, uh,. You throw the ring, and it does hit, uh, it bounces a little bit, but it does land on the bottle. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Matthias kind of lets out a whew, and then he just looks at Sarek. He's just sitting there with his arms crossed, just like... <laughs> He's impressed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> New talent unlocked. He's a very proud guy. Asada <laughs> just nods in respect. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being my backup on this. You got uh, one more ring. Okay, well, he's feeling pretty good. He's definitely feeling pretty good, so uh, it, buddy. at this point, he's gonna throw it. You throw the ring and it knocks the other ring off of the bottle. <laughs> <laughs> it knocks the bottles down. <laughs> you got all three of them. Oh, wow. What the fuck? Double praise! Uh, no! John is so excited. He's clapping, he's whooping, he's cheering. It's fucking great. Um, you get to roll 2d8. Uh, Matthias does feel a little awkward because he's not used to that kind of attention. Uh, yeah. but he's he's happy. Um, Damn, I wonder what that's like. <laughs> uh, there's one, and there's two. Okay, the can you roll one, uh, another 2d8? Another two. I mean, another 1d8. Whoops, my bad. You want me to roll three? Just roll one more one, uh, d8. Okay. Thank you. That's all I need. Okay, your first prize. Um, you are handed um, a wizard hand puppet. As an action, you can twiddle the puppet's arms to gain the benefit of detect magic spell. Uh, you can use Fuck it three yeah. times. The hand puppet disappears in a puff of smoke once it's used three times. Uh, I'm gonna keep this card out, by the way. As long as you keep track of what you have in your inventory and how many times you've used it, if you guys have questions, I have this card. Perfect. And then the other one you got, you got a trinket. Specifically, uh, a fey trinket. And, uh, it is a tinted glass monocle that makes everything look green. You did it, buddy. <laughs> you finally did it. <laughs> Wait, how how green? Uh, it makes everything look green, just like green. It makes all the red flags look green. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, finally, I can live a peaceful life. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, dude. Uh, and that's what you get. Both of them weigh one, 
one pound, one weight, whatever their usage of weight is in this reality. Um, that looks like it weighs time. one. <laughs> that looks like it ra- weighs one. <laughs> just <laughs> one. Just it's roughly one. one. Hmm. Did I? Am I fucking up the? Nope, it doesn't matter. Don't worry about roll twenty right now. Anyway, um, and then the last booth has a little bit of a line. Um. It's a circular tent. Looks very fancy. And it has images of uh, uh, hands with eyes all over it. Uh, at, at some point uh, on the way over uh, or afterwards, uh, Sarah will put his hand on uh, Matthias' shoulder and just like kind of like shake it a little bit and just be like, see what I tell you? Okay, I... I guess you were right. I I will uh, give you yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But don't don't let that go to your head. Oh, it already has. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late for that. <laughs> I'm way I'm way too proud right now. Well, that was I'm, awesome. I'm glad I could make you proud. You did good with catching the Fey Dragon. Oh, thanks. Yeah, no. I mean, when when you were throwing the rings and stuff, I think I even heard the Sade gasp. You know how hard that is. <laughs> yeah, well, Zach will look over into Sada and just like mm-hmm. and just be like <laughs> <laughs> Matthias is just like yay come on oh cool. <laughs> be cool just do it <laughs> just do this room bro come on <laughs> it's a very I love bags we know we know we know <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and the three of you walk up to the uh, fortune teller booth. There's about a five minute wait in line. Um, Nasade and Matthias for sure would recognize the three women in line in front of you. Oh. oh. <laughs> mm. Matthias gives a look to Nasade. Hey, 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 hang on a second, hang on a second. I don't want to be here no more. I'm in my dress room. <laughs> oh, yeah, no! <laughs> I'm just I'm so jingling my way over. <laughs> jingle, 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 jingle. <laughs> um, do you say anything to them? They seem not to be paying attention to you. Yeah, no, I'm good. I, I'm good. I don't yeah. need this. I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna head out. <laughs> uh, well, if no one says anything to them, they don't say anything th- to you. Are they running it? No, they're in line. Oh, okay. I don't know who they are. <laughs> uh, Matthias, Matthias is going to stand in line, though. Okay. And I'm assuming Sarah is too. Oh, he stands behind Matthias. <laughs> he just uh, he just has his arms crossed, smiling like. Yeah, hi. How's it going? Yeah, we're having a good time here. Yeah, this is a good. Oh time. God, is Sarek the one that awkwardly strikes conversation with people while waiting in line? <laughs> yes. Sarek oh, is a dad. Uh, uh, do you do you strike up a conversation with him, Sarek? Uh, let's see. Yeah, so he'll be. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he probably would. He'd just be like. <laughs> I just I want to make a note that Nasade refused to get rid of their cloak when they had the jester outfit on, so that is still on on Perfect. top of the jester outfit. Perfect. So you could hide under Matthias's cloak. Matthias Nasade just <laughs> is not. This is not okay. That's fair. <laughs> uh, he uh, Sarek would probably say something along the lines of them like, "Oh hey, did you guys check out the other booths?" Uh, the fawn will turn around first and say, No, we haven't had a chance to. This line was really long earlier, so we wanted to make sure we got him before the show. Um, no. Are you three? And she kind of. Nasade has been she... back to them. <laughs> well, so I thought she... Nasade was hiding behind uh, Matthias. Nasade no, makes behind sense. Matthias are with you their two? back to them. Uh, hold on. And she taps the shoulders of the other two. We've met you two before, didn't we? Mm. Nasade refuses to turn around. Matthias kind of tilts his head. You look really familiar. I should probably apologize for my friend's, you know, poor behavior. 
And the other two will turn around and say, We didn't do anything wrong. And the fawn says, No, no, we were incredibly rude to them, and we should say sorry. <sighs> oh, thank you. Wait, these ladies were rude to you guys? Oh, don't, don't worry about that, sir. <laughs> No, 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 bitch! If you were rude to my friends, yeah, no, he, we'll walk he, he, the bridge. Don't, you don't. see, you see, as he smile, his smile just goes so, <laughs> and then like leans in and is like, "Wait, what? What? What they say?" I can't remember. <laughs> uh, all, I literally can't remember. <laughs> I'll water under the bridge now. Um, oh, it's actually our turn. Uh, the last group that leaves, uh, like, the group that leaves before them, um, looks very shaken as they walk out. <laughs> um, That's a really good fucking sign. And, uh, the three girls in front of you walk in and they're like, Fine, I guess we were rude to you. Sorry. The fawn's like, see, it wasn't that hard. Anyway, um, well, uh, hopefully see you all later. Um, and she follows her two friends in. Um, and a few minutes go by. <laughs> was that, was that weird? <laughs> I have a good feeling for some reason. And I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> a few minutes go by, and a few more minutes go by. And after it was about ten minutes of waiting, uh, the three walk out, and um, <laughs> the one was like, "Well, that was rude." Uh, one of the elves, <laughs> and the other elf was like, "Listen, we we did ask for a fortune, and by God, he gave us one. I guess." <laughs> And the fawn's like, I thought it was delightful. <laughs> um, and they all walk out, and the three of you start walking into the very dark, dimly lit tent. And <laughs> who walks in last? Oh. Uh. I think I think Sarek would have held open like the tent for everybody. Okay. Yeah. Um. Sarek, uh, as Matthias and Asade walk in, um, you hear the fawn say. I can't find my wallet. <laughs> God fucking damn it. Sarah will oh. immediately just go, Ugh. I would die for Quinn. <laughs> uh, I would die for him. Uh, fucking Sarah will literally take like his money pouch and he'll put it down his pants. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you see? <laughs> not today. <laughs> no. Not today. Unless you, you want to unless you want to cop a fucking feel, you ain't getting this shit. <laughs> I mean, what happens, what happens? What happens when the tent stays in the tent, buddy? It's, it's like why? He's like, you look like you have more going on down there, sir. <laughs> more than usual. <laughs> I'm interested. Wait, what? <laughs> I didn't think you were that happy to see me. Wait, what? The Again? Hell? No, 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 that's, no, please. <laughs> Queen bumps into him and he's like, is that a money pouch in your pocket or are you just happy to see me? And then he actually pulls out and he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you, you're right on the money. Literally. I hate this. <laughs> you walk into the dimly lit tent and... There's candles. There would be. Um, it's all adorned in beautiful jewels everywhere. Um, there's some... Uh, it, it's just very moody and very, like... It seems very high-end. Nasade. Yeah. Feels a lot like, you know... Those uh, those three actually Nasada and Matthias. It feels a lot like those three that just left. That style, very bougie, very. Hold on, I'm having an allergy attack. Oh, here we go. Have you considered do... not? Let's do the fucking twelve sneeze of the of everything you normally do. Oh, I'm God. trying my best not to. <laughs> so, and sitting dimly in the very back of the tent, 
near a round table um, with um, what appears to be um, uh, a bowl of bones, little bird bones. Um, you have, you have guys that okay. you. Um, I gotta rub my eyes again. Oh my gosh! Ah! Allergies are taking me out, boys. That's what uh, Quinn says. Dang, they're beating me to it. <laughs> you see, uh, you see <laughs> a dark figure adorned in like gorgeous robes, sitting in the darkness. Is it me? Am <laughs> <laughs> I the dark figure? Is it? <laughs> um, you guys want to go talk to the dark figure? Absolutely, I'll <laughs> jingle my way over. <laughs> As you jingle way over, you hear the figure laugh. It's Quinn. <laughs> yep. Jingle fucking jingle, bitch. Uh, Quinn takes the hood off from the robes, um, and looks at the three of you and says, So, uh, Nasade, liking the get up. A lot less quiet, you know? I know. <laughs> you, uh. I'll get my revenge for this someday. Did Philip trick you into this? Is. <laughs> Nasade slowly looks at Sarek. <laughs> you better not have. I should have to take it off later. But later could be now if you want. I see you were a science clown. <laughs> That's fair. I get it. Hazing happens to everyone. Yeah, Franklin? I feel personally attacked. And I will fight back for it. No, that's fair. That is fair. Gnomes are very easy to kick, so I suggest that. <laughs> Sarek, I don't know if you'll be able to get those pork chops anymore. <laughs> Why do you think I got as many as I could? <laughs> um, so, you, you three here just uh, fuck around, or you want your fortune stole? Do you actually stole? <laughs> you're gonna, wait, you're, you're gonna steal our fortunes? <laughs> I, mean, I can steal your fortunes if you want, but eh, it's not really. Can enough. you? Do you actually, actually do tell it? fortunes? Yeah, that's like a weird thing I can do. How, how, okay, how, how did you discover that? Um. Well, uh, there was a certain um cranky witch who happened to figure that out. Um, huh? I can't go into much more detail um, because, you know, and he kind of waves his arm around all dramatically, like, look at where we are. Okay. Fair enough. Thought so, I heard Bandit. Who's first? Oh, Bandit. Uh, Nasade will. I did see him! There he goes! No. There he goes! <laughs> there he goes! <laughs> there was a blurry thing! There was a blurry thumb! He's, um, he's a little cryptid. Nasade <laughs> will uh, approach first, and um, do you want this? You can have this. Finally, God fucking damn it! <laughs> Finally, <laughs> there you go. Let me kill it with my bare hands. He's trying to. Mothman will lose his uh, his little cape. That's While fine. Frankie is doing that, let me let my son be free. Be free, well, son. I thought you were about to have a face reveal. No. Shy doesn't have a face, you know that. I've never seen it. Shy. That wouldn't exist? be very cash money. <laughs> that wouldn't be very cash money. Oh god. You're right, actually. <laughs> you can see the end of my wig now, maybe. There's just another everything. There's just another ghost face mask underneath it. <laughs> ghost face mask under ghost face mask. <laughs> you joke, but I can I can do that meme. I can I, do that. I have to. I, I I don't I it wasn't a joke. I know it to be true. We were, we were expecting you to do it, Franklin. Um Yeah, uh he puts his uh hands out and he puts his hands out, palms up on the table, and says, You fuckers want your fortunes read or not? Nope. Um, and it, I'm gonna. I'm it's, going it's to. Going. I swear. I just. <laughs> uh, well, well. Uh, Nasade is doing that. Matthias is going to ask. Yep. Okay. Um, Come how here. much is it? 
You wanted to be oh. seen, you'll be seen. Normally it's 10 gold, but uh, oh. I like you guys a little bit, so. Everybody must see Bandit now. Bandit! Finally! <laughs> Finally! Bandit! He's oh. there, my boy! Oh, I love him so much. Hey, what? God. I love Bandit! <laughs> oh, shit! We can throw him on your bed. Alright. What the hell was that all about? about? I would do a phrase <laughs> like him! He's oh like, my goodness, he's grabbing my hand. <laughs> he's like, Mother, please. I need, I need I mean, this. Let me get back on, I'll keep petting you. Mother, please. I'll keep petting you, I swear. Oh my oh, gosh, thank go. fucking God. <laughs> I needed this. I know, Bandit, I know. Yeah. I know. Hold my hand while we do this. <laughs> <laughs> You're not doing it right. <laughs> he's such a good boy. <laughs> the placé way, he's like, mm, yes. I, I, I told you. <laughs> yeah, you got to scratch and hold. Bandit does God. gay rights. God, Bandit does say gay rights. Thank you, Bandit. He's such a good ally. <laughs> it's okay. You good? Yeah, for you now. Good now? Mm. Okay. <laughs> He's like, I don't know. I Wait, don't know. Where the hell did you go? Don't put the hood up. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just gonna look off here. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, it's better. <laughs> Frankie did take this off of me, so it's just staying off now. Oh my god, I thought that was Frankie. For <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what happened to him? <laughs> no, Frankie took it off of me, so I just don't have like a little scarf anymore. But that's fine. I have my Frankie. backwards Metal Gear shirt on. So, um, all right. Uh, Nasade will um look at him and just do you. You need to see my actual palm, don't you? Well, I mean, to keep up with, like, the mysticism, yeah. But, like, you don't want to. It's fine. I don't use any of this shit, so it's just all decoration. Uh, Nasade will tug one of their gloves off and hold their palm out to Quinn. Wicked! I love it when people play along. Okay. And he cracks his fingers, and he grabs your hand, and he just pulls it really close to his face. He's like, you don't moisturize. I will... Quinn, I will come across this table and throttle you. Yeah, no, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. If I find uh, anything stolen off of me once you're done with this fortune, I will be coming over there. I can't promise. I'm gonna be watching him as he does this. Gotcha. To make sure. <laughs> um, Nisade, uh, he uh, actually lets go of your hand and puts his palms directly up on the table and closes his eyes. And for a few seconds, uh, nothing happens. And then suddenly you feel like something grips you from the inside on your heart. Cool. Um,. And immediately lets go. And he opens his eyes and shakes his head. He's like, The fuck you got skeletons going out of your future for? Do I? You planning on dying anytime soon? My first instinct was to say, God, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> At this rate. That's it wouldn't surprise me. It happens to the best of us. Usually not the first time either. Well, for some people. I don't know how that works for you. Anyway. Um. No, it just. I know you're gathering something. And he looks at Matthias and Sarek and says, I'm not a liber liberty to say. Um. But maybe consider not hunting so close to home. Turns out, people going missing in a very small area is very easy to find out. I'll keep that in mind. Glad I can help. Also, um, you have a little voice uh, in your head, it feels. Noted. Sometimes that voice in your head 
is a fucking liar. Though I think you already know that one. Just be aware. I'm acquainted. Gotcha. Uh, is there anything else you'd like me to dig deeper in? I just figured I'd do the surface level shit. No, I don't think so. Uh, he grabs your wrist before you go and leans in really closely and just says, I don't know why you took it, but I'm just warning you that maybe you should avoid the forest for now. And leans back with a big smile on his face and says, <laughs> and says as much as that, that's as much as I got for you. Um, hey, Bandit, can you come back? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I think the ghost face mask works so fucking perfect in this because it's just like. This is just the Sade's reaction. He leans <laughs> back like. Um. Fuck. What? what? Um. Nope. That he he does smile at you and says he doesn't know. By the way, that was you at least. So. He gives a little thumbs it, up. Can just give it back. Uh. Right, I'll try to amend this issue. Right. Good talk. Who's next? <laughs> Masade quickly puts their glove back on. <laughs> uh, I think Matthias is going to. How many gold coins was it again? Uh, it's free for uh the gang. Oh, rad. Oh, thank God. Uh, uh, this I'm weird bored. little rogue likes you guys. Right. Uh, Matthias is still going to be uh, weary of his belongings. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but he is going oh, yeah. to... Did he take anything on me? <laughs> I don't know. Did he just roll a roll a intelligence check? God, is it this one? It is. Looks like intelligence. No, nope, you're oh. good. Oh, no. Right. Uh, Matthias is going to extend out his Other hand. Oh my gosh, I love it when clients just play along. It's so good. So he looks at your hand for a second and he holds it, and he's like sitting there just kind of rubbing it for a second. He's like, man, your feathers are so good. You make a good coat out of these. I'm not going to. Mm -mm. Don't like, don't like the idea of that. I'm just saying, like, I happen to know someone who makes coats and capes out of weird materials, and I feel like your feathers would make a good coat. It's a compliment. Quinn, All right. come on. <laughs> Just do the fucking reading. God. Why is he so grumpy? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make him comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> he puts his hands out, closes his eyes, and you feel that gripping sensation on your chest, your heart. And, um, obviously you don't know how it felt like for Nasade, but it holds on for a second, a little second longer, and it gets really hard to breathe for a second, and he lets go, and he's like, shit, <sighs> um, do you like trees? <laughs> do you like trees? <laughs> Is he uh, trying to sell us something? <laughs> looking at them, sure. Right, right. Um, you mean like height? Do you like the idea of being a tree? I'm sorry. I just, I, I feel, I can't. I didn't look that deep because it's none of my business at all. None, not on. Even though you're asking me to look deeper, it doesn't matter. Not my. How do you feel about trees? Uh, they're nice to look at, probably not nice to be. Fair, that's how I feel about them. Um, maybe... Maybe do whatever the hell you were told to do, and you can continue to feel that way. And you can continue to not be a tree. What an Hi. amazing fortune. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 
Does Quentin know about that? How would you like to determine that? Thank you. Well, I'm not I'm not <laughs> asking it from like a player as or from like Matthias aspect, but I how can't would you like to determine that? that? What do you need me to rule? Um I don't know if you would be able to determine that in this situation right now. Uh but um much like how he did for Nasade though. Um, he does, uh, grab the front of your cloak and pull you in and quietly whispers into your ear. If he asks, tell him to get off my back and I don't need a fucking babysitter. Okay? He knows. <laughs> Glad we, glad we can have this talk. Okay. And he leans back and he's like, um, also, um, something about bones being hollow and trees not. How do, I, you're a bird. You have hollow bones, right? I feel like he would know all about that. I don't know all about my own anatomy, but I feel like as a bird, you would know more about your own anatomy than I would know <laughs> about my anatomy, you know? Or... <laughs> My brain just went, yeah, I know a thing or two about bones and just the <laughs> ribcage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everyone. Uh, stop flushing your ribcage. No. Is, they need to be seen. <laughs> what brain? It's not that kind of stream, Shy. <laughs> <laughs> If everybody would like to check out, bones. if everybody would like to check out Shy's OnlyFans, you'll be seeing <laughs> all kinds of bones, all bones, all the only way down. Only bones. <laughs> um, only bones here. But yeah, um, he kind of gives you a little smile, and he's like, "So uh, I hope you're excited about that." Um, do you yeah. want me to keep digging, or are you good with that? I, I think we're good with that. Wicked. Glad. Glad we get out of this conversation, bird boy. Bird boy? Wow. Bird boy. Bird boy. Bird boy? I meant, I was going to say bird brain, but then I came up. Bird, bird, bird boy, girl boss. Gr bird boy, girl boss. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Fuck. <laughs> um, anyway, and he uh, looks over at Sarek and says, Green Dad, you wanna sit on down? At I my knew table? he was gonna say that. I said, entire time in my head, I've been screaming like, I know he's gonna say, "All right, Green Dad, you're up." <laughs> uh, Sarah just kind of like lifts an eyebrow at him, and then just uh, goes over and uh, sits down and uh, like looks at him for a moment, and then like kind of like looks around to see if like he's like doing anything funky, anything weird. Uh, and then he thinks he thinks about his gold pouch now in in his pants, <laughs> and then like kind of like closes his legs a little bit so that way <laughs> it's like it's harder to get to. <laughs> um. So you also gonna play along, or you just want me to get down to it? Yeah. He goes and he takes off a. Uh, it's a little bit of his gauntlet there, and he sets his hand out for him. Fuck yeah! Three for three, baby! Anyway, and he grabs <laughs> your hands. <laughs> he grabs your hand and says, ah, yes. Dad hands. Dad hands. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> and as Dad. he says that, uh, he lets go of your hand really quickly, and you feel like something kind of course through you for a second. And he's like, "Oh, I don't mean to be like weird about. I don't. I, we don't have to. I, it's fine. We don't gotta. Don't worry about it. I, I don't. I don't like touching on sword topics or anything. Um. Uh. Uh. Sure. And he puts his hands down, and you feel that gripping on your chest, and uh, it lets go immediately. And he stares at you for a second and says, I don't know. There's something. Okay, here's the thing. There's something really weird about, like, gripping into Helia's plaything, you know? Like, I don't, like. <laughs> what a way to word that. I don't Excuse feel me? like. 
I don't feel like the... Well, she's your patron, right? Yes. Yeah, so... I, I just... I feel like this is kind of one of those situations where, like, I should have, you know, consent from both you and the patron. Um, <clears throat> unless you want me to uh, keep poking around. Just do it. Okay. All right. Um, you feel that um, grip around your chest again. And um, he... It stops. And he gets quiet for a moment and he stares at you and he's like no I get it just uh oh. physical things are the easiest way to remember people and I just feel like Maybe you should find something more physical to remember her by. I don't think that's going to last much longer. But, you know, I don't like touching on, like, touchy subjects or anything like that, so. Anything else I can help you three with? <laughs> Sarah just stares forward at him. And, like, not even, like, saying anything, and he just gets up. And uh, he pats himself for a second to see if he has uh, all the shit. Um, you, uh, you have everything you had when you walked in. And he's like, wait a minute. And he shuffles into his bag and he pulls out the forget-me-not. And he's like, you, uh, all jokes aside, did take this from you earlier. I feel like you might really need it soon. Um. Anyway, oh look, time's up! I got other clients to work on! And he puts his hood back up and uh, assumes position and kind of sinks down into his seat again and just kind of does like little shooing hand motions. Assume yeah. the position. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, as soon as he gets uh, the forgive me not, uh, Sarek walks out. And Asadi will follow. Matthias also does, and he's going to, out of habit, kind of pat himself as well. Um, if you guys want to check and see if there's anything missing, I think Nisade already did, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Matthias, you can give yourself a check really quickly. Uh, what room? Mm -hmm. Give yourself a pat down. Uh, that would be intelligence. Oof, alright. It just sounds like a xylophone when Nisade <laughs> does it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you have everything. Okay. You did it. Um, I did it. And with you guys walking out, uh, Philip runs up, and in Gnomish, he yells at you, Sarek, The show's about to start! You guys are late! Uh, ah, shit. Uh, uh, all right. Um, he'll, he'll relay it to the other two, and uh, say, uh, well, we uh, we gotta go. Ugh. Great. Um, chin, chin up, it'll be all right. <laughs> Sounds so confident. And with that, um, I think we're going to take our break. Yay! Uh, oh, so yeah. We'll be back in about 15 minutes ish. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll start with the show. And it'll be a good time. Yay! Yay. It's not going to be terrible. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. We'll see. Sure. <laughs> anyway, uh, we'll be back in 15 minutes. Uh, hope you guys stick around. Um,. Yeah. Ah, bah.
the show. We're good. We're live. We're yeah, here. We exist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We exist. Oh, God. It's happening. We're back. Mm -hmm. We're. It's happening. It's happening. It's yeah. happening. Correct. It's happening. Yeah. You better watch out. You, you better, better watch, watch out. out. <laughs> you better watch out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I. I think it's time. Hold yeah. On. Hold on. I got okay. this. Hold what on. Are you this, is, to this isn't happening. This. This is not happening how I wanted it to. I need everyone to know that I have an idea for how this can play out if uh, one thing occurs. Given that for the me. question Janelle asked earlier, um, it's gonna be a time. I would like to hear my music. No. No, I you don't need that. Mm. There it is. Okay. <laughs> nah, fam. Oh god, that hurt. Thank you again to Royalty for Music. Hmm. God, I hope I'm Bless. playing the right one. There we go. I hope I'm playing the right one. Mm, Everyone's so backstage. And suddenly... We are back. Oh, fuck. The show's about to start, and the pre-show happens. Pre-show. Which is... This is not the correct music for pre-show. This is the correct music for pre-show. Get it free. <laughs> God damn it. Bradley. <laughs> should, should I do it correctly? <laughs> What's the correct music? Oh, I got a plan already. Don't worry. It's silly. Is Nisade. It Nisade, you're sent out in front of the crowd as a little pre show. You're the only one that has access immediately to the bleachers. Okay. I gotta make sure I'm reading off the right description. Alright. The audience well, is filled you... with many different faces, dressed beautifully. A color, scheme a color scheme becomes noticeable. Silvers and greens. It reminds you of the colors that you wear, Nasade. Uh, not as practical as what you wear. Long dresses, lots of jewels, striking jackets... Uh, the stands are packed, and the watchers chatter excitedly and quiet as you walk out in front of them. Tell me, friend, how do you make them laugh? Am I the only one out here? Absolutely! God damn it! <laughs> do a flip. Do a backflip! God. <laughs> You're oh, also God. the only... I need you to realize right now you can see the audience perfectly, so if you want to do anything else while you're out there, go right ahead. Bum, bum, I don't like the way bum, you said bum. that. <laughs> I tell one of so they started Um. <laughs> I got you. God, I don't. I want to kill myself. <laughs> uh, do you want to do that in front of the audience? <laughs> just. Just. <laughs> Nasade's just like, I'm dying right now. I hope you laugh. Um, laugh at my suicide. <laughs> what, is, what are you- what Alora, are you, you don't have to bring me back this time. <laughs> Actually, though, but if you did... I always wanted to die on stage. <laughs> just like how I said I have to die on stream because I have to make mm -hmm. a profit off of my death. Nope. That's fair. I have... no idea. How to make these people laugh? <laughs> you ask Samson? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. River Dance or something. Yeah, people are just staring Riverdance. at you now, and a few people are kind of like shuffling uncomfortably. Samson's a pretty good in front of people. Yeah, um, regurgitate him out. Yeah, regurgitate <laughs> him. Almost like you have a performer on your face. Yeah, Nasade will reluctantly call upon their allure. You called? I need your help. And what would you like help with? I don't know how to interact with people and make them laugh. Mm. There's you no one out here for me to punt. <laughs> I was gonna say, you could just always punch the green one. 
But seeing I can't do that, <laughs> seeing I can't do that, uh, let's. Uh, how good are you at acrobatics? Acrobatics. Um. I. Blurry Getty. What? Pale Blurry Bonus. Getty. <laughs> yeah, I got a blob down here. <laughs> Uh, I don't believe I've ever done it specifically before, but anything is better than just standing here. Mm -hmm. Give it a go. Do a little backflip. <laughs> Do a backflip. Uh, <laughs> crowd, okay. The crowd loves a good backflip. Yeah. I, I crumble. I hope I crumble. <laughs> In the barrel she, roll. She falls on scorpions. This <laughs> folds. Whop. <laughs> Our Nasade doesn't jiggle jiggle. They fold. They <laughs> fold. <laughs> what do I roll for backflip? Uh, dexterity. <laughs> okay. This looks uh, like do a you... new screen movie. <laughs> do you, <laughs> do you yeah! make it... Hey, before you do it, do you yeah. make a show of it? Uh... Or do you just fucking go for it? <laughs> it's all about Nas presentation, baby. Nasade will make a show of it. Roll me charisma. Okay. Oh. Help this poor thing. With the help of your allure, <laughs> he walks you through a slapstick comedy routine of trying to do acrobatics and constantly failing over and over again. You're just charismatic enough that people think you're doing it on purpose, and it's really funny. You get a good laugh out of the audience. I'm going to hurt people for this. <laughs> <laughs> um, the audience la uh, laughs and claps. You, uh, about ten minutes into your little routine, um, you hear one of uh, the gnomes you think Philip call what a, you think is your name in gnomish and kind of wave you back over to the backstage area. Uh, Nasade will make a show of running to the back. Cool, cool, cool. Give me another charisma roll. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Help this poor thing. Okay. Perfect. Awesome. Do you lean into the silly clown bit that you've been doing? Yeah. Absolutely. You run and you slip backwards and you slide out <laughs> to the backstage. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. And the crowd goes okay. Like, they clap. It's not wild, but they thought it was funny, right? It was the warm-up show. While this was happening... Sarek, um, Helia, uh, walks Manila up to you. Abandoned him. Uh, Helia walks up to you and, um, and puts a hand on your shoulder and says, Now you know the routine. You can't let them touch the ground. That's all I need. If you want to put on a little show or juggle or something like that, that's fine. But you really can't let them touch the ground. Alright, I think I can. Juggling limbs? Yeah. They're mannequin oh. limbs. It's mannequins. I don't believe. Freshly cut. Freshly cut mannequin limbs. <laughs> Freshly <laughs> severed limbs, ladies and gentlemen. Um, uh, I think I can do it. Hopefully. Let Sarah give you a hand. <laughs> yeah. The show starts. Yeah. <laughs> uh, everything gets quiet and suddenly you hear an announcer ladies and gentlemen you do not recognize this voice none of you do ladies and gentlemen boys and girls welcome to the unseen circus where acts of all kinds happen. I imagine it's, it sounds better than what I'm doing. <laughs> and... <laughs> it's the real voice. I was hoping that'd be Sandy. <laughs> Good morning, campers! 
Ty's like, nope. Ty's <laughs> like, no. Nah. Sandy, what are you doing here? <laughs> All across the realms, many have gathered here to show off the talents they have collected. Of course, we can all thank them for being here because of our great ringmaster, Helia, and she's out in state. She's out in the ring. Words are failing me. I had all of these terms, and then I'm like, I don't need to write them down. And now I'm like, I don't know what they are. <laughs> Acts of, right now. acts of yeah. all kinds. <laughs> Sorry, feel funny. That's really funny. Um. Uh, and while this is going on, she's chatting to the audience. Um, the three of you are sitting backstage. Nasada, you're done. You can change out of that outfit if you want. Nasada, you're done. You can change out of that outfit if you want. <laughs> um, Nasada will absolutely go take that off immediately. Perfect. Uh, Matthias and uh, Sarek, you two are sitting backstage where you see all of the acts lined up. Uh, mm -hmm. Margo has what appears to be long poles um, and some sort of lighter fluid. Oh no. <laughs> um, the uh, gnomes uh, appear to be all dressed as uh, little acrobats um, and they're practicing doing little tricks. Um, the uh, three halflings um, appear to be putting together some sort of comedy routine. And Asade, I think at this point you realize you were absolutely hazed into doing that. And of course, a few other acts are going on. <laughs> a few other acts are going on. Um, uh, backstage, all practicing. Um, the two that are helping you, Matthias, uh, walk over and uh, start um, essentially putting little, like a little clown outfit on Bartholomew. Um, Bartholomew doesn't seem upset. He seems like he's loving it, you know? I think he absolutely would love the attention. He's like, hell yeah, I'm a little clown. I'm a little clown boy. I'm a little clown boy bear. And we love him for it. <laughs> I'm sorry, something feral came out from that. <laughs> um, oh, with your excitement about clown bear. I do love clown bears. Uh, <laughs> of course, uh, a few acts go on. Uh, one of no that happens before uh, Matthias's or Sarek's is uh, you hear the announcer yell out a dragon reborn watch as she dances with the flames and if you watch it's Margo very competently as a, as, as a fire dancer like very confidently very beautifully she looks very practiced uh, she looks like she's been putting years and years and years into this. I think I remember you talking about uh, her being a fire dancer. Yeah, you guys yeah. were all worried. Yeah. Yeah. For good reason. <laughs> the poor thing. I, I think someone had even made mention that uh, it there there were some some accidents with the fire. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You can definitely tell that there's burns on her skin. Uh, but she looks very well practiced and very just. Honestly, quite remarkable. She gets probably the loudest applause out of all of them so far. Sorry, Nasade. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nasade, do you stick around? Yeah, I'll stick around. Okay. Um... Matthias, I'm sorry, not Matthias. It would be Sarek. Uh, Sarek, you're let out after Margot. Uh, oh fuck! God, I, damn, you gotta compete with that. Fuck! I, I got, I gotta. Fuck! Oh, come on, dude, it's my first time out of here. I really fucking hope the music's working because I can't monitor this song for some reason. So I'm going off of like just hopes and dreams, baby. Um. Uh, yeah, music's working right now. Wicked. Cool. That's all I need. Um. Yep. 
as you walk out with her, um, you hear a an announcer yell out, Watch as they dance. They follow her moves, but they never touch the ground. <laughs> never? <laughs> Not once? <laughs> never. Good luck, buddy. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> Helia um, walks out with her trunk, and you're holding the other handle, and you're both walking the trunk out, and it's set in the middle of the tent. Um, the crowd is quiet, just seems so excited. Like, this is obviously, like, the main show. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay. And... Don't worry, you're not the last act or anything either, so you're fine. <laughs> um, better. She's gonna fucking kill me. Um, and uh, slowly she opens the chest, and it appears to be four mannequins. Now, the best way to describe these mannequins, um, you know the drawing forms. You see, like mm -hmm. the little drawing forms. Um, Is it the one that looks like Leonardo da Vinci? <laughs> No? You mm -hmm. haven't seen that? No. <laughs> I'll hook you up later. Thank you. Leonardo <laughs> Da Vinci. Da Vinci? I'm sorry. Da Vinci. <laughs> Shiloh's really upset with us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, there, now I can monitor the music. Cool. And uh, four mannequins uh, come out of the crate. They're cramped, and they look curled on themselves. Um, who's all watching other than Sarek? Matthias, are you watching? Masada, are you watching? I, I, yes. Uh, um, the movement... I'm not even going to make you roll for it. The movement looks pained. Um, like, it's just, like, twitching and, like, shit? Like, it's like some Silent Hill nurse shit? Yeah, actually, it's a pretty good way to describe it! I'm torturist. <laughs> um... And I talent. hate it here. <laughs> <laughs> this is she, a talent. She uh, uh, snaps her fingers, and all four of them, standing in the crate, come to attention. And she touches two of them, and they start collapsing. I'm gonna need you to roll for dexterity. Why would you do this to me? <laughs> I wasted all my dex in that fucking game. Oh man. That's why I thought it was funny. Being the favorite child. <laughs> I believe in you. I believe in you. You got this. Perfect. Uh, you should. Oh. It's not. It's not great, but you catch them. Oh my fucking um, stomach! They start falling into pieces, uh, but you're able to kind of scoop all the pieces up into your arms. The two of them. Uh, the other two, uh, essentially lifted off the ground, and this weird macabre puppet dance happens. It is visually disturbing looking. But the crowd is raptured, like, and it's amazing. Um, and this dance continues for a little bit longer, um, and suddenly one of the puppets in your arms, uh, starts recollecting itself, uh, as it looks like she's calling it towards you. Um, roll for dexterity. Fuck. Okay. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> um, would you like to do anything while this is happening, or are you just waste like everything is on making sure these motherfuckers do not move? Okay, so uh, like juggle like, like, or something. They're falling into pieces. You can juggle them if you want. If you don't want to, that's fine. It will make your rolls harder. <laughs> the the juggling. Uh, uh, did she say to do anything? Or did uh, she, she just say to hold? She said if you would like, you could put on a little show. Um, but you don't have to. You feel like she would really like you to, though. Ah! Uh, okay! Pressure. Yeah. He'll, pressure. He'll, he'll do like a... <laughs> and then go to fucking do some juggling. I'm gonna need you to roll dexterity again. <laughs> You're the one that taught me juggling. Yes! I knew, oh. I knew it was gonna happen. It had to. Um, I've been rolling too well with it. Everything's working out way too well for you. 
immediately um, you uh, start juggling and it works pretty well for a moment and it doesn't seem like anyone's super watching you but people seem to be like impressed like ooh other things are going on type of thing um, and you drop uh, one of the feet onto the ground oh not the feet anything but the feet and no! the foot starts hopping towards the exit oh okay we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and like do like a like a <laughs> and like, like pretend like that was part of it and then go over and grab the butt. <laughs> do you uh do you stop juggling them? <laughs> yeah. You're gonna need to roll for Dex again. You son of a bitch. I mean, I would have to roll it regardless, right? Yes, you would. <laughs> ah. Fuck! <laughs> uh, you grab the foot, but both of the hands fall out of your hands. God fucking damn it! I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a good question. Yeah. Where are Nasade and Matthias? Just watching as they this. Watch this. Um, Nis um, Nisade, you have access to the uh, bleachers, so you can actually stand up there and watch if you'd like. Interesting. Um. Why would why why would why, why would you want to do that? <laughs> Well, now, in case one of the pieces come towards the bleachers, I have uh, access. Hey, okay, I was you, like, I'm like, listen, <laughs> I'm you, sorry. Can you roll me intelligence, Nasade? Sure. Mm, you're not sure who, you're not sure what they look like, but one of the audience members is definitely missing. Um... So, uh, uh, are you? While Sarek struggles to grab the hands, um, I'm gonna say you're able to grab the two hands that escaped. Oh, thank um, you. And two. just because you're no longer juggling, uh, and one of the other puppets drops out of the airs, uh, please roll for dexterity. <laughs> I want you to take a guess on what you have to roll. <laughs> you you're like telling me that? I can't roll strength on that? Or charisma? <laughs> You're gonna charm those puppets into staying still. Hey, little I'm like, puppet, hey, you, you stay up there. Here? You stay the fuck up there. <laughs> okay. So okay. So, yeah, We've the, got that going on. That fucker. Drops. And now I have a missing person to worry about. <laughs> uh, Matthias. Uh, what are you it's doing? My, it's my first time. <laughs> I'm I'm watching, just Sarek lose himself. Unironically. Good for Matthias, honestly. Um, what? Uh, Sarek, this shit drops. You were able to catch most of the pieces, but like, there's like a forearm that's rolling away. Uh, one of the heads is rolling away. The first foot you dropped, you definitely dropped again. Um, <laughs> the, it seems to be the act has almost come to an end. Oh, thank God! It's a nightmare! Uh, I'm gonna need your roll for dexterity one more time. You bitch! <laughs> Damn it! Okay. Uh, Nasade is gonna keep an eye on the oh, crowd oh and make sure God. no one else disappears. You literally, you are able to scoop up the rest of the pieces and throw them into the crate. Stop biting me! God, you're no. so oh, fucking God. cute! Oh my gosh! Give me the biggest eyes. Them. I would pick him up if he wouldn't let me. I thought he liked a biting. And uh, you're able to catch the other puppets uh, quite gracefully, actually, oh, uh, as you. they drop from the ground. And the music ends, and Helios strikes uh, a pose, and literally the crowd erupts into like chaotic clapping. Nasade, please roll me intelligence. Ow! I'm, I'm just uh, plus one because you're keeping an eye out. <gasps> Franklin, we got him, boys. Oh yeah. god, yo, damn it! Mm. I love the boy so much. Oh, he's not happy that I picked him up. Murder is in your future. <laughs> 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 My little fortune teller. He... So I got a nine. You got a nine. Perfect. Yeah. Um. You, uh, yeah, you get a nine because the plus one. Okay. You, um, notice one other audience member is definitely missing. You don't remember who they were, but you see someone else standing up and walking towards the exit. 
Guess I'm following. Perfect. Um, Sarek, you are let off stage uh, with Helia as the crowd goes wild. It feels pretty good, actually. You're, he's, he's heavy breathing. You're very <laughs> proud of Helia. She clearly worked very hard on her routine. <laughs> very good. Okay. <laughs> I'm more of the stand and watch type than actually interacting. <laughs> uh, She's just sweating bullets. <laughs> she that, pats your back and says, I appreciate it, but next time maybe make sure you're able to do a routine if you're going to add to it. And I, she walks away, dragging the crate with her. It's clearly too heavy for her to lift completely, but she just drags the motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you think I deserve this? Yeah. I shouldn't have said chuckling. <laughs> and um, the next act is announced. See the amazing beast as it follows its master into danger unforeseen. And Matthias, you are let out with Bartholomew. <laughs> um, real quick before he steps out there, though, he's going to uh, pat Sarek on the shoulder and be like, I think you did a great job. And a little confidence boost. Uh, thanks, buddy. I, I appreciate that. Uh, good luck out there. Um, I hope oh. I hope everything will be all right. Um, I'll uh, I'll be watching to make sure. I hope you guys can hear me patting Frankie. That's no. that's Matthias just still patting. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's moved to his head at this point. <laughs> just gradually. Would you like? Would you like just okay. slowly getting higher. <laughs> He wants to be held. Matthias, what are you doing? Matthias? 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 Please, Matthias? He just, like, puts his hands on his face. Like, Matthias, you're stalling? You're stalling? Matthias? Matthias, please? <laughs> Bartholomew is definitely already climbing the ladder. <laughs> I was bored for this. <laughs> Matthias is going to uh, follow it after just because he knows that Bartholomew is not quite fond of this. Yeah, Bartholomew is not happy about it. Um, but luckily, you and Bartholomew share stats. Mm, okay. And guess what your stat you need to roll is? Uh, hopefully dex. Hell yeah, it's dex. Okay. <laughs> um, Imagine having C's dex. <laughs> Couldn't be me. <laughs> Couldn't be me. Imagine being an archer, not me. Absolutely. Um... They did say that you have to go first. Okay. So you get to the top of the ladder, to the platform where the rope first hangs from. There is a net below you. So it's not like the worst thing. I'm going to need you to roll dexterity for me. Okay. Uh, Matthias, before he uh, goes to step out um, onto the questionable rope, um is uh, he's going to uh, look at Bartholomew and be like, it, it'll be okay. We, we got this. He gives you a reassuring nod. Hell yeah, you step right out out. Do you do anything to help Bartholomew? Oh. He... I hold his hand. <laughs> I mean, actually, yeah, he could uh, hold his hand out at first to kind of... Yeah. Um kind of be like, it's okay. Uh, he starts following you out. He he looks pretty confident, actually. He seems pretty he seems pretty good. Uh, you two start making your way across very confidently, as opposed to the second in the last act. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you uh, you get about halfway through uh, across the rope, and um, you two strike a little pose, and cool. The uh, crowd does go wild, almost as loud as for Helia. Are they JoJo posing? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I want to see them just fucking doing. They're something. not doing the JoJo. Like, pose. The look, yeah. <laughs> Matthias doesn't even know what JoJo is. Matthias is like, I don't know what you think we do. <laughs> yeah, Sarek and Nasade might know what JoJo is. Yeah. God, I hope I know what a JoJo is. <laughs> I, I didn't know what a JoJo was until last year. <laughs> That's same. That's just me, the player. <laughs> Honestly, same. <laughs> um, and roll for decks again. You got it, dude. 
Hmm. There's a little bit of a hesitation. But mm -hmm. as long as you're still carefully leading him, mm -hmm. you two are able to get all the way across the other side. Okay. Um, the crowd is very impressed. Mm -hmm. More impressed than they were for Helios' act. Oh, uh-oh. <laughs> uh-oh. Um, Sarek, where are you? Where did I have access to? Um, you can either stand behind stage and watch, or you can, um, uh, ask nicely if you can get up to the... Thanks, Frankie. Up to the bleachers. Who do I ask nicely? Do, do I think? know all family? You... <laughs> <laughs> Probably Philip. Oh. Philip yeah. will let you in there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he probably would he'd probably be up in the bleachers. Mm -hmm. He's like, I gotta get the fuck away from all this shit. I was not a theater kid. <laughs> you get up onto the bleachers, and as Matthias and Bartholomew uh cross successfully, um uh another one of the audience members stands up. They're actually probably right next to you, Sarek. Um, and starts walking towards the stair towards backstage. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Gonna do anything about that, or? Hmm. So there's, the, the, there's just some rando just yeah, stands Yeah, just up some rando. Between... Uh, Sarek will uh, do his best bouncer. The cloak uh, looks a lot like Nasade's cloak. <laughs> I want to go home! <laughs> uh, yeah, no, he'll stop them for a second. Uh, how do you stop him? He would like to, uh, go ahead and, like, uh, put, their, uh, put his hand on their shoulder and just say, Hey, where are you heading to? Uh, when you do that, uh, you feel a cold chill wash over your body. <laughs> um, as what it feels like to be something roots up from the ground and grabs your feet. Um, what? and the figure attempts to push around you. Uh, give me a strength roll. Oh, fuck. Okay. Oh. Matthias, you're overhead, and you, you haven't climbed down yet. I'm assuming you're letting Bartha uh, Bartholomew climb down first. Yes. Um, you, You're watching something happen from an overhead view. Oh, yeah. No, you're still able to hold on to them, uh, but you feel something snaking around your legs tight, uh, around your ankles, um, and suddenly um, you start feeling... Uh, what you can only imagine is petrification. Um, what? Something cold, like, just shooting up your muscles. <laughs> Take a point of damage. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Hey, Sarek. Hey, Matthias. Yeah. You guys want to roll initiative for me? What? what? Made a roll. Meanwhile, Nasadi in the back getting murdered. <laughs> <laughs> so you two are both going to roll a uh, single d6. Okay. Okay. How about that? Can you guys you roll like that? one more time for me? <laughs> you you, you, you want to keep doing this, Alex? How <laughs> do you guys <laughs> always manage to do that each game? Because we have a bron action. Mm -hmm. A bron mm -hmm. action? It's very... Oh, okay. Okay. See, I was thinking of us pri prior. That's what it was. That's why I got a six. So, okay. That's why our boss asked us who has the brain cell. Or, well, work mom. Also... I was gonna say. <laughs> also... Jeez, <hitty> boss. <laughs> I guess it would make sense that Sarek had the first move, seeing how Sarek is the one currently being attacked! Um... I hurt! <laughs> I'm sure you do, buddy. Uh, as soon as it happens, though, uh, you feel uh, a knife get held up to your neck as yeah. the figure leans in and says, This doesn't have to get complicated. God, I wish that were me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Do, do I have the first act on this? 
Uh, absolutely, you have the first act on this. Uh, while this is happening, Matthias, you see, uh, two other figures... No, I'm sorry, three other figures in the crowd stand up, and suddenly, um, a rumbling in the ground starts happening. Rumbling in the ground's tumbling. Mm -hmm. Rumbling, oh. rumbling, rumbling, rumbling. Uh, does that... I'm high up, does that make me fall? Do, do I have to roll to keep no. my balance? Bartholomew is down at the bottom of the ladder. So this is why I did it this way, so the boy can stay safe. Uh, he is at the bottom of the ladder, and you are a flying creature. You're fine. You know how to balance. You're an archer. They know how to balance. <laughs> <laughs> how do you think Legolas does all of his bullshit in fucking Lord of the Rings? He's an archer. The guy can walk on snow for no fucking reason. Exactly. They literally. He's just like, I could just do it. Well, that's because he's a fantasy twink, but that's besides the point. <laughs> I think I think that actually is like what Tolkien's reasoning was. Shy, you just <laughs> looking up in the corner of the screen was really good. <laughs> 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 because fantasy twink. Next question. Um, Sarek, what would you like to do in this moment? So, is this person in front of me and they're holding the knife up to my neck? Yes. Or are they behind? Okay. Uh, the um, audience is getting a little riled up, like, what's going on? Because these other figures are definitely standing up and doing something as well. And you can't tell what they're doing from there. Okay. Uh, I would like to say that... Sarek would say, uh, as soon as he says, this doesn't have to get ugly. Sarek just says, you're right. It doesn't. And then he goes and he launches and grabs his throat. Perfect. Give me a strength roll, baby. <laughs> That's a really good necklace he has. I really want one. My hand? Yes. Yes. Yes, in fact. Yes, that is what we are referring to. I'm like, really? <laughs> and when I when I touch his throat, if I'm able to I'm going to use, uh, if I'm able to use something, mm -hmm. after, I, after I'm able to grab them, uh, I'm going to grab his throat, and uh, I'm going to press down into it, and the nail's going into his throat, and you'll see as Touch of Corruption is going to go through him. Can you give me a little read about what Touch of Corruption is? Yeah, sure. Uh, let's see. So, basically, um, when I touch a target and invoke the power of my deity... Uh, target deals, or uh, sorry, target takes 1d8 damage, and I heal the amount done, or transfer a disease from, or have suffered from, to them. Gotcha. And, yeah. Alright. Uh, I give you depression. <laughs> I have to roll for it, though, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I give you petrification. I give you... Ah, that's big brain. Big brain. <laughs> Big brain. Actually, and would that count as a disease? <laughs> it is an ailment. It does now. <laughs> I would like to petrify them if I'm able to do so. Rule of cool, baby! Alright, I will... Uh, you better roll. be so fucking cool right now. We don't have a cool stuff. <laughs> you better... <laughs> Let's see. Your cool so... would be your dexterity, so... I thought it was oh. charisma. Yeah, it's, I just rolled a touch of corruption. Yeah, it's charisma for this. Oh, okay. Oh, it is charisma for this, isn't it? Okay. I just touched the touch of corruption tab. There we go. Perfect. Uh, that works for me. When you touch a target uh, effect, you don't heal or suffer the disease as well. Yeah. Or you so suffer the disease as well, so. so. Yeah, it says you don't heal or suffer the disease as well. Effectiveness is half. Lesson. Uh, symptoms of disease connection with deity is disrupted. You don't need that right now. <laughs> well, good thing your deity is literally right there. Um, yeah, no, uh, you you do your thing. Uh, you pass on. You're still petrified, but you see it happening. It's not the same petrification. I don't actually think you saw that petrification before. Uh, that wouldn't count. That's fine. Whatever. It no. looks like uh, the skin is drying out. Um slowly to an ashy color um and you're at being this raisined you <laughs> look <Jesus Christ. laughs> directly into this person's eyes and you see they look sunken and hollow 
What the fuck? Okay, well that's happening. I'm gonna roll damage. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and roll damage. <laughs> Six. Awesome. All right, I gotta actually. Keep I'm like, that's fucked up. I gotta actually keep track of the HP for this one. Hold on. Not that no, I have it before. Realize what you go down that far. Uh, I'm just used to really low numbers for HP. Um. I feel yeah, bad. Actually, actually, yeah, actually, I have a point. It's weird now having this much health. <laughs> There we go. Cool. I, I'm a beefcake. Um, <laughs> you are a beefcake. Um, <laughs> the <laughs> one the of pork chops. The one you're holding onto uh, struggles to get away um, from you, uh, but can't. Um, at this point, they're considered stunned. Um, oh hell yeah! Let's go. I'll one take of that. the other ones in the audience uh, puts a hand on the ground, like jump down from the bleachers and put a hand onto the ground, and the ground starts withering away. Uh, it looks like it looks like it's almost decaying. It's all soil, but it looks like it's decaying. Um, another one uh, uh, starts to uh, uh, walk, like basically pushes back past both of you, and starts walking backstage. And um, the last one, I think, looks like it's going to uh, start trying to climb that ladder to get up to you, Matthias. Uh, the audience is freaking the fuck out over the ground. Um, you feel the bleachers start to almost tip. Oh, fuck, dude. <laughs> Matthias? Mm. Um, what yeah. do you do? Um. Well, things that I was just walking ropes. Uh, Matthias did have his bow and arrow, uh, under his cloak. Okay. Uh, so he is going to pull out one of them uh and he's actually going to where am I that? uh he's actually going to um <laughs> I'm sorry big brain I love him in it uh, he's going to shoot at the uh one that's uh trying to go backstage Okay, not the one climbing up to you. I'm just making sure you remember no, I, that one exists. I I still got some time. I should still have some time. Yeah, you you're good. You it's not a super fast climb. Um yeah, yeah. so you're gonna shoot at that one? Yeah. Give me that um... roll, baby. Damn Damn, you took your weapon with you onto the type rope? What the fuck? Yeah. You never know, man. You never know. <laughs> you never know when you need the high ground. <laughs> <laughs> What a perfect position for you. So, I'm trying to figure out how to do this. It says dex plus, and is that plus what my dex modifier is? Uh, yeah. Are you trying to, are you, trying to uh, are you looking at the volley part? Yeah. All you need to do is, is that, what, what is your, um, what is your dex modifier? Uh, two. Two, as long as it shows dex and then plus two in there, all you need to do is just click on volley and then it'll show up in here. Okay, cool. I gotta highlight. Look at that shit! Doing it. Oh, hell yeah, you have a clear shot. Deal your damage. Absolutely. Uh, roll your damage. Uh, D6? Yeah, I was gonna say, I think it's D6 for your arrows. Ooh! Ooh! Look at that! Oh, you bit. you hit that motherfucker directly in the shoulder. Um, he stumbles down for a second. Um, clearly not downed down, but uh, absolutely uh, good fucking shot. Um, really quickly, while this fun little battle's going on, Sade, you're following uh. the ones that left, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, give me a uh. Uh, intelligence roll. Actually! Dexterity. Oh, you dirty rat. You dirty rat! Alright. Oh, it feels... Delicious. Um, yeah, it feels delicious. You walk out and you see uh, the three that had left. Uh, they look like they're uh, digging through tents and actually kind of tearing them apart, the living tents. Um, you, something about it must have startled you or you might have like stepped on something that like, like a, 
a twig that snapped because all three of them turn and look at you. Uh, you give me um, your initiative. Cool. Uh, what dice is that again? Uh, that would be just a d6. Ooh. Yeah, okay, perfect. Um, what is uh, uh, Sarek doing? Um, right now, I don't think he's able to move. Uh, let's see. Give me just a second here. Oh, this is always at the end of um, uh, uh, Nasada's turn then. Nasada hasn't gotten a turn yet. Fair enough. Okay. So, um, so you got hollow sunken eyes, bro, staring back at me. Uh, he is, let's see, what are we going to do? One second here. I want to look at one thing. <laughs> I am going to, as he is holding him, uh, he's going to tighten his grip just a little bit more, and then he is going to say to him, tell me, why are you doing this? And he is going to invoke, I am the law. Ooh. And try to get him to say what is going on. Perfect, yeah. Give me yeah. that roll. Okay. Or is oh, it a, shit. Is it a roll? Oh, damn, look at that. Uh, based on your divine authority. Um... Take one plus four to them, uh, and choose one. Uh, do what you say, back away cautiously, then flee, or attack you. So he'll answer the you, and then you get to, um... Yeah, he'll answer you, and then, uh, you get to choose one of these three for him to do it. Um, okay. he- the magic immediately simmers out. Um, and you feel that cold rush go away, and suddenly your- your legs are free. Um, he looks at you and says, I, I have to, it is, it's for, it's for my master. Um, what would you like him to do? Hmm. So the three choices I have is do what I say, back away cautiously and flee and then attack me. Yeah. Which is a little redundant. Cause like, you could just say like, do what you say and. Is it would it, if I if I choose that option is that is that something that's like is he actually gonna hang around or uh, is he not gonna uh, to you, attack? You get to give him one command in this moment. Oh, oh, okay. Um, let's see. So in that moment, I will tell him. Because I'm assuming that Sarek is kind of, like, able to see, like, what's going on around him right oh, now. Oh, absolutely. Like... Absolutely. He's going to, as he, like, uh, tightens his grip just a tiny bit more, he's just going to lean in close to him and just say, Stay. Uh, and then... As you do, uh, his body freezes and does not move. He, uh, Sarek will let go. And uh, that'll probably be the end of his uh, turn, I would imagine. Yes, yes, it would. Um, the one that's decaying the ground um, is still doing that, and the bleachers are still kind of tipping forward a little bit. Sarek, you're starting to lose your um, footing. No, oh, shit. Um, Please don't make me roll in things. Nasade. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> you okay, friend? I think I realized some things. <laughs> but yeah, I'm great. <laughs> Would you like to share with the class? Maybe your predictions are right. I have a feeling this might be about the book I took. <laughs> Maybe. But it doesn't happen to be on my person. <laughs> It happens to be with someone else. Do I have it? Yeah. I think it, yeah, I do have it. <laughs> you have it as a book. <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, That's a great sign. If it makes you feel any better, uh, Nasade, when all three turn and see you, 
Um, they all pull weapons. Um, sick. They're like, sick. finally. Um, <laughs> all three of them have scythes. A little dramatic, but they have them. And <laughs> they start walking towards you a little bit. And the one that's closest to you stops and puts his hand out to stop the others. Okay. And looks at your face. I'm assuming you've armed yourself. Yeah. Staff is in hand now. Um, they put their arm out and stopped the other two. And they said, No, look. And immediately he um, tears a glove off of his hand. And just stares at his hand and then stares at you. Um, and then the other two drop their weapons and fall to their knees? I'm um, sorry? Yeah. Um, they all, the three of them, including the one standing still, look at you almost in rapture and pull down their masks, uh, well, their hoods. And they all have sunken eyes as well. Um, and it looks to be they have permanent petrification all over their skin. Um, they are all fae. You can easily recognize. And the one that stops the other two said... Allure? <laughs> oh, it's just shy and her sunken boy. <laughs> me, me and the boys look at her beans! God. Oh my god, Gaffer yeah, Ghoul and Gar, you returned to me? Don't hurt my children! You <laughs> hurt me in new form! <laughs> um, they are very specifically a fey race. You're very easily. Eas you can very easily recognize. Yeah. <laughs> they I all, got it. All three of them stare at you, and you hear a little laugh on the mask, and just Samson says quietly to you, Aw, they shouldn't have. Nasade tilts their head slightly and lowers their staff a bit. Ye uh, oh, what are you all doing here? Uh, when you speak, uh, one of the ones on the ground shushes you. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other one on the ground says, we don't care about you. We only want to hear what our lore has to say. Uh, bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Looking at Frankie. <laughs> you missed the uh, the ultimate uh, thing. That <laughs> the <China>. ultimate bitch. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> um, and Samson laughs again, and he says, huh? "I guess if you want to kill someone tonight, they're not gonna fight back." But why are they here, Alore? It's a really good question. You see, they stopped listening to me a while ago. Yet they still claim you their lore. Oh, I am pretty great, don't you think? I can play a Mas mean loot. Masade <laughs> flicks the mask. Ow, what the fuck? <sighs> Do you want me to, I like, talk to them or something? By all means. Um, suddenly you feel something take over your body for a second, and through Ew. your mouth. It's <laughs> 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 so passive! Ew. I love it! Um, something takes over your body for a second, and through your mouth, uh, Samson speaks. I'm not sure what mission you think I've sent you on, but I am curious, and I would like to know. And the one standing says, Allure, it's been, it's been centuries since we've heard from you. And Samson laughs. You can feel the laugh, Nisade, but it doesn't come out. <laughs> and he says, why do you think that is? 
Um, and the two kneeling down uh, refuse to meet uh, the gaze of the mask. And the one standing up just says, We've we've been worshipping you for years, and you you just left us! And Samson says, Yeah, and you feel the hand controlling your staff take, uh, lose you lose control of it as Samson starts using it and he's like I'm gonna leave you again and he thwacks the guy directly across the head Nasade would you nice. like to take your turn uh, or do you just want to let this dramatic decisions, shit lay decisions. <laughs> 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 um Hmm. Sure, I'll take my turn. Can uh, can I get control back from Allure? Absolutely. If you want it back, he'll give it right back to you. Cool. Uh, Nasade will twirl their staff and then put it in the ground for a second. Just kind of lean on it and just... Unfortunately, Allure is not going to be very helpful to you anymore. But I'll help you and put you out of your misery so you don't have to worry about him anymore. Oh, oh fine. Or you could leave now and forget the allure. The choice is yours. Uh, the one that was thwacked across the head is on the ground. Um, the other two are stumbling to try to help him up. And they're like, uh, one of the ones that was on the ground before looks at you and says, Why would he let her have the book then? I don't understand! Samson laughs in the mask and says very quietly to just you, Well, she really doesn't have the book, so I mean, it's kind of not my problem what happens, huh? <laughs> well, this is a not-me kind of problem. Uh, you can do whatever the fuck you want to the Nasade. Um, I have their names, so I don't need those. Understood. Nasade says that to themselves and Samson. Gotcha. Unfortunately, you've learned the hard truth of the allure. And unfortunately, it is not your business to know what he does. Nasade takes the staff out of the ground <laughs> and is going to do a wide strike to try and hit all three of them at the same time. I'm going to need you to roll strength. Gotcha. You're close enough that you will make a hit. It just matters how effective it is. I can't see what it says. Oh no. It's three. Oh damn. <laughs> <It's big part. laughs> I think, I think That's you... okay. It's a warning strike. Yeah, you uh, I think you hit one a little bit and they're like kind of ah. they kind of stumble back a little bit and they're like You can't be the one he chose. You can't even hit us! Matthias, it's your turn. Okay. Oh I have a plan. <laughs> What's the situation, homie? Uh, the one climbing up is almost to you, and uh, this uh, platform you're on is starting to tilt um, oh. because of whatever the fuck is happening on the ground. Okay. Um. Alright. Um. I am going to uh, have Bartholomew go at the one that's Attacking the ground. Um, I don't know what I would roll for that. Like I. Okay, so you want him to take an action then? Yeah. Yeah. Um. I'd like him. To you would just you night. would just roll strength. It would just be a strength roll. Um, though I, I believe he is a bear, I'm... so I was gonna say I think your strength is gonna be so just plus two to a regular roll. 
Well, the thing is, is that it doesn't give me the option to roll. It's grayed out. So... Oh, if you go into, um, on the sidebar here, there's, like, a little thing that's, like, where you can click where the dice are on the left side. On the second to bottom option is, like, the d20. Okay. If you hit d6, just plus two, and I can do the math and add two more to it. Okay. Because their stats for the animal companions is a little weird. Yeah, it's weird. Okay. Seven, eight, nine. So it would be nine. Uh, he would get a very, very good hit on it. Uh, can you roll me a d8? Regular d8? Yep, just regular d8. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Um, so... Let me do some math. Gross. Um... So, uh, you direct Bartholomew to attack, and he's able to swat him away from the ground, and the ground immediately stabilizes. But it looks like it's, uh, the beginning of a sinkhole is still there. Okay, uh, how much damage did ground dude take? Um, I'm sorry, one more time? My brain did not process the question. <laughs> how much damage did ground dude take? Ground dude take? Oh, he took four. That was what you rolled for. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to uh, direct um, my arrow at the man that's climbing. And I'm going to uh, use volley again. Go ahead. Damn. I'm going to actually uh, try aiming for his hand. Uh, if the arrow uh, decides to uh, pierce through any other way, other than his hand, you know. You rolled a fucking 15. You can hit his hand. <laughs> um, you hit <laughs> his hand. Like, I, if it went through his hand and, like, I don't know, his wrist as well. I, yeah, I... that's what I was thinking. Hand, uh, palm through the wrist uh, to the elbow. Mm, tasty. <laughs> uh, he dropped. Um, uh, roll two d6s. Two d6, okay. Oh, wow. I don't know why that's highlighted. Seven. Perfect. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, while this is happening, um, suddenly, uh, there is a rumble. Hold on, I'm trying to do math in my head, it's not working out. Math this gross, I'm sorry. What's- No, what? I'm not gonna ask that out loud. Okay. That's right, you know why? Because you're the token straight here. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're mathing. <laughs> well, Brad too, but anyway. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Brad and I can do a single math if we put our brain cell together. Absolutely. That's nice for a lot, actually. Yeah. Honestly. Um, you, you feel a rumbling. Um, it, it and suddenly, um, uh, the one that was hit by the arrow, mm -hmm. um, uh, immediately is pulled something you can't tell what it is it happens so fast but something wraps around his leg and yanks him into the backstage area oh so he doesn't take any fall damage oh no 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 that was the uh the guy that dropped that's why you rolled 2d6 instead of 1d6 oh okay yeah Sorry, I should have explained that better. But the guy uh, that you shot, the first guy that you shot, um, before he's able to stand up, um, something wraps around his leg and pulls him in the backstage area. Oh. Hey, Sarek. You feel a really weird pulsing of power. <clears throat> it's one that's very familiar to you. I don't feel mm. so good, guys. Mm. Sorry, bro. It's Sarek's turn! Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, seeing as our two oppositions have been pulled away, mm -hmm. uh, and our other, uh, I'm guessing our other boy's just, just standing there having a good time. Yeah, he's having a good time. Uh, he was swiped down by a bear, but not he's not wasn't hurt too bad. Okay. Yeah, ground boy has uh, four points of damage on him. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Uh, is is the crowd still freaking the fuck out? Yeah, the crowd is like... freaking out. At this point, you've seen a lot of people kind of jump over the bleachers to get to the exit. Okay, okay. Uh, actually, um, the fawn from earlier is helping a lot of people. 
Oh. Okay. Yeah, I think um I think because I don't know where Nasade is, so I cannot help them at this moment in time. No. Because I have no idea what's going on. Nasade's fine. Um Don't worry about it. Seeing the whole uh, tentacle weird fucking thing come out and grab the, uh, the dudes, uh, Sarek will attempt to try and help um, uh, calm the crowd down and try to get everybody to uh, relax a little bit and just say, everything's all right. We have everything, you know, under control here. Roll and he'll try to... Roll is that your? Is that what you're doing for this turn? Is I mean, that what you'd no like to accomplish? I mean, there's no there's no enemies uh, available to to attack. Uh, uh, what's his face? Fucking Matthias is okay. So as long as uh, Bartholomew, everybody, everybody seems good. Yeah, no, I think that makes the most sense. I think that's he's going to try to uh, calm the crowd down and try to get them to um, file out uh, in an orderly fashion. Perfect. Uh, roll for charisma. Okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, the crowd is still super riled up. Um, honestly, you're able to start calming them down, but as soon as you start directing them to, like, here's an exit, uh, they start getting riled up again, and you probably get punched in the face a couple times. Take a point of damage. What? Wait, what? 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 <laughs> okay. Damn. Nasade? Oh, actually, sure. no, not before Nasade. Um, uh, the one on the ground, um... Ground <laughs> yeah, ground boy uh, stands up um, and uh, puts both of his hands to the ground again, and it starts corrupting uh, faster and falling apart. Uh, but it makes the corruption makes a beeline towards the platform you're standing on, mm. and it starts okay. to tumble. Um, Wait, so I thought that I had thought that the. I'm 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 confused. Now. How many people them. are there? There's four of them so, where you guys are. So she only took two of them then. No, because she she, she took she took she took one. I know, and then I thought she took another no, one. No, 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 no. Oh, the chain um, only wrapped around the one that had hit the uh, that would hit the ground near the uh, near the backstage. Yeah, the one that was trying to go towards the back room that I first shot at. That's the one she has a hold of. Yeah. Okay. There's Brown Bro, there's the one that was climbing that I shot down, and then there's the one that you told to stay still. Okay, then. Okay. All right. Well, that's all right. That's fine then. I was just like, no, I, I, I didn't realize. I thought I thought she took two of them. No, no, no. So that's fine. why. Wow. Okay. So um, my bad there. The platform starts collapsing. Um, hey, Nasade. What's that? Um, you hear just a fucking ruckus because you're outside. I imagine mm -hmm. you're outside near where the entrance to the backstage is because it's kind of near the living quarters. Uh, you hear just... It sounds like chains mashing against each other. Anyways, cool. but you got these friends you gotta deal with, so what do you want to do? Bandit! There's no need! Bandit has a lot to say. He didn't like the description. I don't blame him. Mm -mm. That's fair. Um, Mel, I sent you a message. Could you look at it real quick? Oh, I can look at that real fast. Thanks. No problem. Pet my son. Come here, Bandit. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Yes. Oh, uh, and... Hold on. This conversation between Janelle and Shai is brought to you by our merch store. <laughs> if you would like to have me. Rolls. Yeah, if you would like to check out Haphazard Rolls and check out all the awesome thermoses and blankets and t-shirts and whatnot, you can go do that now and or later. <laughs> I, I just uploaded that to TikTok today. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, well, you have it again. We Too have far. another one. Hell yeah, boys! Buy Around our the shit. Table, like. <laughs> <laughs> Buy the things that Shy does and then puts on to the stuff. Is it commands. Hell yeah. Is that oh it? No, but it's not bringing them up for me. 
All the proceeds go to giving Shy another mask. <laughs> another ghost face mask to add to my growing collection. Out of all the money that has been graciously donated to the Haphazard Rolls website, Shy has a acquired at least 10 masks. At least 10 ghost face masks. <laughs> I can't I can't say any more, but I definitely know at least 10. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, hold on. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. I figured out what it was. I didn't. Was my bot down? My bot might you know be what? down. You know what? My bot was down the other night when I streamed. I noticed. My, my bot might be down. Anyways, if you go to the Twitter page, you, we have a link tree there, and you can just go there. <laughs> <laughs> just go there if you want to buy right. something silly. <laughs> you silly goose. You silly goose. Hmm. All right. Um... Nasade is going to uh, cast magic weapon. I suppose. Mm -hmm. It's it uses um, a spell slot, correct? So you yeah. So you don't have to roll. Correct. Um, and uh, Nasade is going to try and hit the seemingly main guy the one who stood up and had told the others to stop yeah she's gonna try and hit that one yeah go ahead and uh, roll me wisdom let me get into that close and personal with my computer again imagine being able to see yeah it couldn't be me Ooh. hell yeah absolutely um is there uh, any specific form you want your magic weapon uh, to take shape of, or are you just enchanting your uh, staff? You know, I wouldn't mind a spear. <laughs> yeah, we can do that. Uh, roll me damage. Let me... I don't know what your magic damage is, I'm sorry. It's 1d4. Give you that's it. Yeah, cool. All right. Yeah, no, you stab that motherfucker uh, anywhere in particular. Uh, stomach. Perfect. Right in the stomach. Um, he gasps and uh, immediately crumples. 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 My boy crumples. <laughs> my boy crumples. The first swing was a warning <laughs> shot, and you didn't heed my warning. He folded right up. His money don't jiggle jiggle. It folds. It folds. <laughs> <laughs> this is a pretty good uh this is a good time. The 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 camera's were a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's just like, I'm fucking done with you. Like reactions is wonderful. Um Yeah, no, uh he he crumples. Uh the other two uh immediately shuffle up and grab their companion and they look at you and they're like if our lore wants us to leave, we can leave. And you feel something take over your body. And in a roar that doesn't feel like it's Samson's voice, uh, your mask screams out, I was never your lore! Um. Ooh! I see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you shouldn't have. You should <laughs> Am I the drama? I think I might be the drama. Girl boss. <laughs> That's the or... gatekeep part of gatekeep gaslight girl boss. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is all Nasade is. <laughs> uh, Matthias got girl boss. Um, Sarek, you can have gaslight just as a treat. Okay. Got the curse I mean, for it. Yeah, Sarah's I can do pretty that. good at gaslighting. Yeah. yeah. I've done it before. Perfect. <laughs> You're crazy. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> There's no such thing as gaslighting. You're just crazy. Yeah, you're just fucking nuts, dude. Chill out. Um, anyway. I'm just joking. Uh, Matthias, um... <laughs> This turn, you can either spend your time reacting to the fact that the platform is falling, or you can attempt to attack again. Hmm. Well, I can definitely have Bartholomew attack. Yeah. Um. 
So, what did you need me to roll? 2d6s? Oh, no, no, no. That was uh, roll strength for Bartholomew. Uh, yeah, 2d6. Just roll 2d6. I got the math. Ooh. He uh, tries to swipe at the one that's on the ground and somehow misses. Um, he tried. He tried so hard, and in the end, it doesn't even matter. Uh, and what would you like to do? Uh, which way is uh? It's falling. It's falling into the audience. Oh, okay. And you can probably guess who's also in the audience that it's falling towards. Hey, buddy, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> um, Matthias is going to uh in that second um with his uh spare hand he's going to kind of like take off his cloak and he's going to spread his wings and uh try to more or less glide down give me a dex roll uh i do have uh if i can try to do this depending on what i roll mm -hmm. uh I roll well enough. Can I use the one ground bro as a cushion for landing on? With my feet? Stomp his back? It matters how, roll you, uh, how well you roll. Fair. Uh, I don't know what that is. It's an eight. Um, no, you can, you can glide down. It's very shaky okay. and it was a very quick takeoff. You're able to catch yourself, but, mm. um, and able to land fairly well. Um, okay. you are down when you land. Um, yeah. just because of the angle of how you had to, uh, yeah. the, once you're on the ground, uh, the one that you shot, um, put its hand out, uh, towards you, um, touching mm. the ground and suddenly you feel something wrap around your leg mm. and you start feeling that cold, icy petrification. It does not feel like the same petrification that you felt before. So there's two flavors. The other petrification felt there's warm and tender. <laughs> oh, how, how nice. I see. The other one's not. Well, one feels like your flesh is falling apart, and the other one feels like your flesh is becoming a tree. One's Taco Bell, and one's generic. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's really yeah. good. He feels homey like Taco Bell. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> that was probably a bad time to tell everyone that I had Taco Bell today. <laughs> you know what? I'm happy for you. Yeah. Yeah. Good it for doesn't you. surprise me, but... Hashtag well, give Nell Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. hashtag. If you guys want to give me gifts, just send me Taco no. Bell gift cards. <laughs> All proceeds from the Nell Taco Bell. Snap has a rules well, website. Go to Nell. Then... Taco Bell addiction. Send June Taco Bell. Oh yeah, send June Taco Bell, not me. I can get Taco Bell very easily. Hello, Kit yes. Kat. Okay. Um, hey, Sarek. Yes? Uh, you're helping an audience. The audience. Uh, do me a favor and roll uh, intelligence. Okay. There you are. You notice it falling. You notice the platform falling towards the audience and towards you. You only have enough. You notice a little too late, though. You have enough time to either save yourself or save the audience. <laughs> All right. Um, how would I go about saving the audience? How would you go about doing it? Um, uh, is there is, is there any any particular way that uh, makes sense? Um, thanks, Kit Kat. Um, <laughs> sorry for a gift for you. <sighs> Franklin, I love the boy so much. He's such a good boy. This is, He's dead. This is all I <laughs> want. Uh, He's just uh, like me for real, for real. I'm done. <laughs> um. How would you... Uh, you're rushing the audience at this point. There's a couple people left. It's gonna hurt them, but you can essentially throw them over the uh, bleacher. 
and get them out of the way. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's uh, the idea is that he'll try to, he'll notice this uh, happening and he will get to uh, where some of the other people are, like some of the stragglers, and um, he'll try to uh, uh, basically, you know, forcefully but nicely push them off, and then if anybody's left, he will put himself over top of them. Perfect. I think the only person that's left was the first person that started helping the audience, which is the fawn. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm not no, even going to make you roll for it because they're already being cooperative. You just rush them a little bit faster, and a few of them probably have cuts and bruises. One of them might have a broken arm now, but they're not getting get crushed now. Um, so you want to put yourself over top of her. Yeah, I uh, I think the idea is, is that he will he will make sure that way he's he's over top of her, but then has his shield out towards his like um, his back. Um, maybe you know what he probably won't take it. He probably put his shield onto his back so he has it there, so that way when it lands, if it lands on top of him and everything, it'll hit the shield, and uh, yeah. You are able to do just that, and <laughs> thank you for giving this to me, Bradley. <laughs> I I seen it. <laughs> you're you're welcome. Thank you. You you you, you played to you play to to me. <laughs> you you knew I'm I was gonna hero. do this. Listen, I'm holding up our hero. <laughs> <laughs> like you, you knew I was gonna do this. <laughs> Listen, sometimes it it. It's nice to have friends who are altruistic and nice. Hey. What does Franklin say happens? I'm hugging him. Give me a second. Cool. <laughs> there you go. That's fair. One. There you go, buddy. So, um... Another one. He just really <laughs> wanted a hug. He did the thing where he's kind of like, nope, hug. Yeah, now he's content. Wait. He wanted a puppy. So, uh... You're able... Uh, the essentially the uh, pole that the uh, platform was on uh, falls down onto your back and uh, first of all as soon as it falls the fawn looks fucking terrified and immediately she's like you you, you saved my life yeah yeah is it still on top of him or did Absolutely. it just roll nope so he's basically, he probably, like, has her, like, pinned while he's holding it, is what I'm kind of imagining. If it's, you can't hold it for much longer, and if you lift your arm a little bit, she can get out. Yeah? Yeah. He'll, he'll just say to her, go! And he'll let his arm up so she can get out. Matthias. Mm -hmm. What you see happen... Because I'm assuming as you're being pulled away, you can probably look up and see this. Is your friend get crushed, presumably to death? Hey? Um, Sarek, what you see happen is that there we go I had to make sure I had the right one playing um, oh all what this you... music yeah what you see happening uh, is you're you hurt everywhere more than you've probably hurt than you can ever remember physically hurting emphasis on physically Um, and you find yourself in that white void. And... <laughs> Thanks, bro. One of us! One of us! And, Thanks, bro! Um... me up, bro! Dab me up! <laughs> um... You're standing. Uh, though your entire body hurts. A lot. Um... And 
a familiar figure of Helia walks up to you. Very obviously coated in something that is red. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Um, and she walks up to you and puts a hand on your shoulder. It hurts like a motherfucker. No. And thank you for the gifting subs. <laughs> Oh, Shy, you have a sub! <laughs> yeah, I got a sub. And that can be taken in just about any context. Hell yeah, it can. Thanks we for the all sub. know I wouldn't have one of those. <laughs> 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 That's completely fair. Um, she uh, puts her hand on your arm and says, <laughs> Well... You died doing exactly what I wanted you to do. Defending this place. And at that, I can't fault. Though you did fault my fun little session that I had going on. Um, Very sus to hydrate. Oh, shit. You I'll okay, hydrate in a second. I'm fighting for my life. What is happening? <laughs> I was trying to say thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and a big I'm... stretch. Oh, oh, right. I'm catching up. Take your time. <laughs> and <laughs> she, uh. I'm shrimp. shrimp. I like you a lot better not dead. But here's the thing I just can't make you not dead. See, I'm not, like, good with the whole death thing. Yeah. Um, but. What I can do is make a deal with you. And I know what they say. Don't make deal with the Fae or anything. But, like, honestly, at this point, what do you have to lose? Just you're done. <laughs> you want to hang out here for all eternity? I mean, if you do, I'll leave you. But I'd much prefer you didn't. I, I actually kind of like you alive. I, I'd like to not be dead. But then again, I'm afraid of what what's going to be left to me when I come back. You know, oh, oh, God, hold on, hold on. Red alert, red alert, red alert! Why, what happened? My mouse is broken. There it is. Oh, Jesus Christ. I was trying to turn you up, and it just stopped working. Sorry, everyone. Are all oh, no. Oh, God! Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> Everything just went to shit. Ah! It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We fixed it. We've, we... <laughs> We're really more... Part. There we go. Close enough. Um, it's a little fucky-wucky, but it's fixed enough. Anyway, so... <laughs> um, and, uh... Oh, is she... She smiles at th that notion and says, You know, I don't really think there's anything left of us when we get here. I think when we get here, uh, we lose what made us human in the first place. Um, and just kind of broken fragments of what used to be. But, you know, you string those fragments together, you get three perfectly good puppets. <laughs> Not that you three are puppets to me or anything. No, I I would need you a little more dead. Honestly, <laughs> that's probably what I'll end up using for your body if you don't want to come back. But I can promise you'll be mostly you when you come back. Mm, mostly. Um... Well, it doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. Well, you always have a choice. It's just between dying or living. And I mean, honestly, at this point, dying is kind of a drag. <sighs> she holds her what? hand out. Sarah looks down at it and looks back up at her and just says, Who, who are you? Well, my name's Helia, though uh, I think you knew that intrinsically, but though I never really introduced myself before. Um, 
Oh, are you asking why I look like, and when she says her name, uh, it sounds like static. God fucking damn it. <laughs> well, I mean, that's really f up for you to decide why, isn't it? I've looked like this forever, it just... You know, they say about fate and things working out a certain way. I just kind of played my cards right, and there you were. Um, though, I will have to admit, she's probably a better daughter than me. Sarek takes a moment and uh, there's his eyes are kind of misty and he he looks to her and uh, I'm assuming it starts to kind of like click more so now after he's, he's heard her say that and uh, he'll just say so you're not her then I'm afraid she's decided that she doesn't want you in her life. And he'll uh, sit there for a moment and just say, I know. But I have to try something. And as he looks at her hand, he looks back up at her and just says, Will you, will you help me get to her again? And <clears throat> she gives what appears to be the most genuine sweet smile you've seen from her. And she said, well, of course. That's the deal you made with me, and as long as you help me, I'll help you. I feel like we could work pretty well together that way, right? No secrets! Okay. And he takes her hand. You... For a moment, remembered something. Just a very brief moment with your daughter. The day you taught her how to ride her bike. And you just remember she was so excited because she got it right. Because she could finally ri Well, she, she could do something. What was she excited about again? <laughs> No! Oh, it must have been a dream. You can't remember any of that anymore. And Helia smiles at you and says, It doesn't hurt when you can't remember what the pain feels like. Sarek, you wake up and you are able to roll out of the way of the pole while still oh, saving the audience. <laughs> <sighs> You are also uh, able to level up, take your time, and figure uh, out what you would like to do with that. Uh, <laughs> we have to switch over to Nisade. <laughs> okay! Uh, you remember how yeah, leveling right? up works for this system, right? It works the same exact way for um, Monster of the Week. Essentially, you just pick from your skill list on... Okay. Yeah, cool. yeah. I'll, 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 I'll probably ask you questions afterwards, but um, okay. yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get into that. But uh, cool. yeah, okay. Thank you. Just make sure. <sighs> okay. Nasade, you watch as these three start to carry their friend off. Is that? Do you want to let them do that, or Nasade will consider it. 
Hold and on. Then... I'm gonna send you a message. And I don't mean to plant ideas in heads, but like okay. also <laughs> I <laughs> Oh god, I shouldn't I shouldn't have put on this song. <laughs> well, <that was> <laughs> <laughs> That's not how you spell any of those words! That's okay, I can't just, read anyway. Just something for you to consider. You're next, Matthias. <laughs> You're next, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> You're next! Um, Nasade will consider it and just let them go. They're not worth their time. Perfect. Uh, That's what I like to hear. Nasade uh, will turn back towards the uh, big tent that they'd come from. Mm -hmm. um, and you said I was closest to the backstage like area? Yes. I head back there. Perfect. Uh, what would you like to do back there? It's empty, other than what appears to be a strewn-apart dead body and some props. How strewn-apart are we talking? <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it looks like chains were tied to each of uh, his arms and yanked apart. Motherfucker's Hellraiser. Nice. Uh, Gosh, I thought Frankie had a fucking mouse. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Speaking of carrying things apart, Mom. Here's I can throw a ball for you. Go get it. <laughs> um. <laughs> hmm. There's something I want to do, but also I want to do something else, so I'm in a predicament. <laughs> you're in a bit of a pickle. Yeah. You don't know how much time you have. Yeah, you're right. Um, I'm worried <laughs> if, hmm, and there's no one else in here, correct? Just this body and the props? No, no one else in here. You don't know how long that's going to be. Okay. Um, All right, I guess I gotta try and make this quick. Uh, I want to speak to the dead. Let's go right ahead. Sick. You find the head uh, attached mostly to the torso. Mostly. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Do I got a roll for that, by the way? Uh, is it a rote or is it a uh, do you use a spell? I think I don't think you have to roll for speak for the dead. I think you use a spell slot. I could be wrong. Yeah, it's a spell slot. Okay, cool. Ah, yeah, absolutely. You don't have to. Uh, you don't have to roll for it. All right, cool. Um. Um. Uh, who did this to you? Um, the body sputters to life, and it looks at you, and obviously, like. You can kind of tell just by how the shoulder joint moves. It's trying to reach out for you. And it quietly whispers, Alor? They won't be your saving grace. Answer the question. I... I... It was just so dark. I just... Something... Something just grabbed me. And... Sorry weird shadow. Something just grabbed me and it, I don't think it was the the ringleader? Um, one second. Oops. Why were you here? I th that book it, it was here. At least it should have been. Um. He's wanted it for hundreds of years. Uh, you hear Samson laugh. He doesn't say anything, he just laughs. He just laughs. That's fair. 
Yeah, that sounds like him. Yep. Uh, Nasadi will ask, uh, in their head to Samson, do you already have their name? Uh, Samson, uh, you can feel the smile, um, almost take over your own lips, and he says out loud in your voice, um, I used to make the vermin give their name to me for any touch of my power. So yes, I have his name. Come here. He'll be mine after death. Hey, come here. Here. Alright. Um... How many of you were there? Hold on. The game master has to count. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. S seven. And as soon as he says that, um, uh, yay! The literal manifestation of his voice uh, starts to deteriorate. <clears throat> um, okay. And the body slumps back. All right. Uh, am I allowed to rush into the main tent now that that's done? Yes. Uh, you can rush in, and then we're going to switch over to Matthias. Perfect. My bird love, it's your turn. What I miss? Um, just Nisade. That's important. Being, just Nisade fucking being Nisade. <laughs> um, it's your turn now. You're being pulled towards someone. Um. I'm sorry, what am, what am I having happened? You're, you still have the something wrapped around your leg as you're being pulled towards uh, the person that you knocked off the ladder. You see me get crushed to death, but not also crushed to death. Yeah. Hey, hey Brad, do you remember that live audio I sent to you of me saying, I'm gonna play uh, Yomawari for the first time? Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's kind of what uh, Matthias's reaction is. Uh, <laughs> For context, it's like watching the dog get fucking hit by a goddamn semi. <laughs> you're like, oh shit! And, oh, and the shit. first three minutes of the game, you're like, <gasps> you're like, well, you're really setting the tone for this one, huh? <laughs> yeah, like that's the only reaction I have to that. Uh, there, there's a lot happening for this boy. Um, emotionally. Um, so I think, uh, instinctively uh who's the one that has their hand out towards me uh it's the one that uh you knocked off the ladder originally um okay. he's pulling you back towards him hmm okay um am i a he's you said he's got my leg yes okay uh well before I go to shoot an arrow, I'm going to have Bartholomew attack the other ground bro. Gotcha. Uh, just to keep that one distracted. Uh, that's 2d6, you'd said. Yeah, um, he'll be able to, uh, hit. Um, and... What did you want me to roll for damage? Uh, I think I had 1d8 originally, didn't I? I think it was 1d8. Yeah, okay. Good. Six! Okay, let me do some math really quickly. Hmm. Should be, okay. Woo! Um... He attacks, he hits, uh, is able to swipe, but when he swipes... Um, you see that, uh, he's also, uh, able to, the, the one he's attacking is able to, um, uh, touch his side, and Bartholomew, uh, yells out and kind of, like, stumbles away for a second. Mm. Poor baby boy. He's doing fine. <laughs> he's fine. Uh, Where is he? I don't know. I don't know okay. what's going on. Uh, 
So before he hears Bartholomew uh, kind of bellow out in pain, uh, Matthias is going to uh, take his bow and aim it at the one that's trying to pull him. Gotcha. Uh, Give me that dex. Oh, fuck, that's the wrong page. Uh, We're going to use that again. Uh, Molly. Mm. Yeah, you're able to hit him. Uh, where are you going to hit him? Uh, I'm gonna hit him in the hand that is coming towards me. Oh my gosh, so- it's the other hand! An arrow goes directly through his wrist! <laughs> 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 Straight through for a second time! Both of his hands are just fucking like, owie! Um, <laughs> roll, me, roll me some damage. That's a 1d6 for your volley. Man, I hate it when my hands go owie. Oh, <laughs> I hate it. You are cyberbullying the shit out of this guy. Like, <laughs> um, oh God, the one man. guy from Pan's Labyrinth who has like the eyes, but there are arrows in there. Yeah, he'll have a job after this for sure. Well, probably not. He'll be dead. Have you tried but- acupuncture? <laughs> I used to be an adventurer like you till I took two arrows to the hands. My fucking hands. He just holds it up. Ah, the ah, the, the ah. ends of the, <laughs> the ends of the arrows are still sticking out of his hands. He's just like, yeah, yeah. It's not. It's not going well. <laughs> it's going great, boys. Um, my bones rattle. <laughs> uh, Sarek. Yes. You as soon as you roll out of the way, um, the one that you had uh, uh, told to stay still. I mean, yeah. you died. It stopped working. Uh, That's fair. Is over you with what appears to be a scythe about to strike down at you. Um, and uh, suddenly you see what appears to be just like a pull from a tent from outside. Just the whap the guy in the head. What? What the fuck? And the guy just fell. Does not do. You could tell. Does not do a lot of damage whatsoever. Okay. <laughs> At all. Um. And the guy falls over, and uh, kind of tumbles onto the ground off of the uh, bleachers. And above you, you see Quinn standing there, holding the pole, shaking, <laughs> <laughs> like freaking the fuck. He looks terrified. Oh, he and came he's like, bad. he's like. You are fucking dead! Oh! Then he drops the pull and immediately pulls you up, and he's like, "How are you not? I just I, holy listen, shit!" I, I, I don't, I don't even know what happened myself. All right, I don't. But you literally had like shit sticking into your body. What the fuck? Holy shit! I got. You get used to it. <laughs> he's, he's gonna- He's gonna grab Quentin by the shoulder and like hold him and like kind of like look into his face as he's like freaking the fuck out. He's just like, listen, I, I know there's a lot happening. I can't even tell you exactly what the fuck's going on. But what I need you to do is I need you to get the hell out of here. I, I, okay, um, I, 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 Cap, Captain, um, and, and he then- just fucking starts. He starts running and trips. Eat well, shit, and he immediately <laughs> tries to get up. <laughs> okay, perfect. I was gonna say, like, as he's about to like go, uh, Steric was going to, uh, as he's about to like leave, he'll like, um, he'll he'll like move one of his hands off of like his shoulder and put it onto his head and like mm-hmm. cup his head and just say, "Thanks." By the way, um, Quinn just like, yeah, um. <laughs> No problem, Green Dad. Uh, Don't and he, hair a little bit. <laughs> he kind of stands back up after eating shit and just immediately books it. Um, Zoomy Getty. Sorry. <laughs> no! I just saw a blur go across the screen. <laughs> I got shit to do! <laughs> Getty. Um, yeah. And uh, I think in that moment, too, um, you see a burst of flame. Uh, come up right when uh, as soon as Quinn takes off um, from the ground. Uh, Matthias, you kind of see this happen. Margot uh, 
just like scampers over and just kind of sees the guy fall down in front of her because she's on the ground below the bleachers and looks at Matthias and she's like, oh, oh and immediately sets him on fire. Oh my god! <laughs> Amazing. And as she stops, she's like, I don't like violence. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I don't like violence! Arson! <laughs> <laughs> I don't care how my groom is, I cast Fireball! This is why Margo is amazing. Uh, poor Margo. She's, <laughs> she, she's suffering enough. Is she mean? She's like, everyone okay? She's crying. <laughs> um, Sarek, what do you want to do with your turn? Uh, okay, is there any dudes left at all? Uh, not around you. Um, they're, uh, even if the fucker's not dead, he's on fire, so, like, I won't worry too much about him. Which one did she go at? Did she go at Ground Dude? No, 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 no. The the guy that, um, Quinn, uh, thwacked off the bleachers. Okay. Okay, okay. so, uh, so there are people that are still around. There's still Ground Dude and the person that got fucking destroyed <laughs> by fucking... Matthias over here, he's just yeah, getting bullied. Absolutely. Hey Brad, remember all those threats about breaking your hand broke someone else? I didn't realize it'd be with a bow and arrow. But, <laughs> hey man, to each their own. Hey, at apparently least now that's I know, your specialty. At least I know where, how it's coming. Yeah. Like... <laughs> absolutely. Uh, okay, so, um, what's Ground Dude doing? Is he, is he just, uh... Uh, he was hurt pretty badly. At this point, it looks like he's trying to stand up and almost, like, run away. Yeah, I think um, Sarek will look as Margo just sets this dude on fucking fire. And he's just like, that's a lot to process. I can't do that right now. And he goes to see his crowd, dude. And uh, for the first time, draws his sword. And uh, as he's about to uh, scamper away, uh, Sarek's just going to run him through. Perfect. And give, he's... Me th- give me that roll. All right. Oh, yeah, you got this. Let's see. Is that just uh, is that just a strength roll or what? What do we? Uh... uh, what is your hack and slash? Hack and slash. Oh, uh, strength. Yep. Yeah, okay. Just want to make sure. Let me go back here real quick. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think I think uh, you're able to run him through. Um, and the guy. Just, he's not dead, but he's hurt bad. Um, I believe the D&D term is bludgeoned. Um, honestly, I'm not going to lie. Um, <laughs> all three of them are probably that way. And the okay. other one's dead, so it doesn't really matter about him. Yeah, I know, Frankie. <laughs> he chirped at me. <laughs> he's like, yes, blood mother. <laughs> I love blood mother. And um, I think he... Yeah, he uh, he goes to um, essentially uh, grab what he can of your face um, beforehand and uh, uh, cast another petrification spell over you. Um, and um, it does, you do take a point of damage. Uh, you're healed all the way, by the way. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, you do take a point of damage, but he immediately passes out afterwards. He does not look dead. He just looks very hurt. Oh, oh should I should I have rolled damage for that? Uh, no. You ran him through. You're fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, do, do I just... <laughs> You're good. Okay. He is passed the fuck out. Alright, perfect. He's just, uh, Sarah just has two hands on the sword and he's just kind of pushing it in a little bit as he goes to try to touch his face. Good, 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 good. Okay. Oh, I'm trying to keep track of who's KO'd and who's not. There's only one that's not KO'd. I wonder how long that'll last. You know, I know it's technically your turn to Sade, but I feel like giving Matthias this is the correct thing to do. <laughs> like, morally. This kill is yours. Okay. That is Matthias's decision. Yeah, you've earned this. Well, I mean, he, yeah, no, he, he attacked him. So, all right. Uh, that's a nice skull you got there. <laughs> <laughs> How about a headshot, buddy? Oh my god, I just picture fucking like. Oh my oh, god! Please, Matthias. absolutely. 
Uh, don't roll wrong? damage. Uh, when you shoot someone directly through the eye into the brain, it usually kills them, like, immediately. <laughs> Critical hit. Uh, guy fucking drops straight over. I get Three it. Goes. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> he likes looking out the window. There's all kinds of shit out there. <laughs> um, World. As of right now, there is no immediate danger, and you can fall out of initiative. Sweet. Uh, Matthias is going to uh, look back to Sarek and Margo, and uh, did, is his leg still petrified? No. Did the petrification wear off of us? Yeah. Okay. Uh, he's going to uh, run up to them and uh, kind of like, I guess, grab Sarek by the shoulders uh -oh. and just kind of like look him over. <laughs> like, just manhandle him. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> what, what's up, big guy? You were. What happened? Do Do I have really any memory of like what happened at all? You don't have any memory of how you were magically able to get out of the way, because you definitely were crushed to death. You know that feeling now. If that feeling is now something you can say you know um like, you were just crushed and hi uh, margo and <laughs> <laughs> mario's like hi, hi Matthias. <laughs> um no you uh i think you remember you don't obviously you don't remember the thing <laughs> but um sorry to bring that mood back down um but you do remember talking to helia uh, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, I, uh, it was, all of a sudden, I, I was there with that, uh, that one fawn, and then, just pain, and then, I woke up, and I seen Helia there, and we talked for a moment, and then, it, it kind of just felt like it was a dream. And then I was okay. I mean, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Actually. The ghost face mask that just pops straight up. Wait, what, what's that? <laughs> You're cutting out over here. <laughs> Shy's mask. She like looked down, and then her mask just pops straight up. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's not what I thought happened from the corner of my eyes was I saw Nell's head move forward and I thought that Franklin jumped down on her head no. I just looked at like what's going on with her I'm, I'm making an important meme I'm sorry oh, continue no. making your meme I didn't mean to break the moment I just, we can't make a habit of doing this with face cams because I just keep looking at your guys' faces <laughs> We, we can't do this. We can't I like keep doing at this. Your faces too. Thank you. Much more pleasant great. than at work. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. I'd rather mm. look at your faces than boomers. Yeah, I worked real hard on this face. You did a good job. All Great twenty-nine yourself. years. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's good. It's good. Make sure you moisturize, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> I just love. Yeah. <laughs> I just really like ghost face, just fucking vibing in the corner. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> go on, it's I interrupted all, it, your scene. Go on, I'm so sorry. It's a, it's all wobbly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. She, I just pictured her saying Gucci Mang when she did the... <laughs> Gucci Mang, Gucci Mang. Come on, dog. Oh my gosh. You can do it. Fucking anyway. kill me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ugh. But yeah, that, that was kind of the, the, the gist. Is, uh, he just said, you know, kind of felt like it was a dream, and then he was like, I'm assuming I still feel kind of sore. Um, like, uh, or do I not? Like, do I? Is it like, um, is it like kind of like a phantom pain, or is it more like, uh, oh, like I'm still fucking like sore as shit? I think phantom pain is the best way to describe it. Okay. That yeah. I should feel so much worse right now, but also I know I'm completely okay. Yeah. Um, Nasade, do you join them? Alright, so before Nasade joins you, um, 
Nasade might actually see this. Uh, uh, past Nasade, um, Helia power walks past. Does not even look at Nasade. Yep, that power is. Walks directly past you into uh, the tent and immediately walks straight up to you, Sarek, and punches you directly in the face. <laughs> okay. Uh, good to see uh, when you, you look at her face, she actually looks genuinely worried. Oh, feel uh Oh no! Hang on. I just awkwardly takes a step back. <laughs> um, he'll uh he'll he'll like rub the side of his face a little bit, and uh, look at her, and like kind of look down at the ground and just say, uh, "I'm sorry." Uh, she doesn't say shit. She just walks over and hugs you. <laughs> this is like the first like form of kindness anyone has basically seen out of Helia like this quote unquote publicly disgusting so Margo's just sitting there she's like okay yeah. Matthias is looking awkwardly at her <laughs> like, yeah, yeah I mean like is there a like, kind of like out are you guys seeing this shit too <laughs> <laughs> you see this shit um, the awkward triage she lets go of you and immediately composes herself and immediately says Well, now because of all this, I have to replace my black suit. Do you know how hard it is to find a nice fitting suit for my frame? I'm very tall. <sighs> and she starts walking away. <laughs> oh, she's such a suit. Oh, get up. Get up, Getty. Get up, Getty. He got the zoomies. Uh, Nisade, uh, Helia Power walks right past you again. Cool. Like, Asade just kind of watches her go. <laughs> uh, Nasade will approach the group, though, and, like, eye the bodies on the ground as they go. Um, that went better than expected. It seems I missed all the fun. If you could call it that. Sarek thinks about the time he got crushed. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was the real uh, crushing fun time. Um, really, man? Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Matthias doesn't say that out loud. Oh, okay, good. I was like, come on, dude. <laughs> no, come Matthias. on, man. <laughs> Matthias uh, isn't that crude. Um, yet. Margo just time. starts crying, by the way. Uh, oh, Nasade visibly recoils and doesn't <laughs> know how to handle this. <laughs> but Thias walks up to her and just kind of like pats her on the head and is just like, shh, it, it, it's okay. It's, it's over now. <laughs> Sarah will say, yeah, yeah, you know, you you, uh, you did a good job. I mean, uh, and he'll look down at the fucking charred remains of that one dude <laughs> and look back at her again and just say, yeah, yeah, I think, um, we, 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 uh, I, I appreciate your help, and I think Matthias does too. You did Absolutely. a great job. Y you did good. And, uh, then Sarah will look over at, uh, Nasada and say, and, uh, where, where have you been? Oh, during the performance, I noticed a couple of the people started to go missing from the bleachers, so I followed them outside. I learned some things. I'm aware that you've met the other ones. There were seven total. Yeah, I don't think they lasted too long. Mm. Right, Matthias? <laughs> <laughs> Lasted longer than you. I'm sorry. I didn't know it said that out loud. <laughs> no, it said that out loud! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, no one said that out loud. Anyway. Um, Listen, dude, how dare you? If Quinn was still in the room, he would have, but he's not in the room. So, <laughs> also, he's like having a panic attack. He's fine. Anyway. Zoomies. <laughs> Zoomies. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Sade, you, you hear the voice of your lore just uh, whisper to you. They were necromancers. 
very poorly trained necromancers, but they were necromancers. I mean, that's something to think about. Am I right? Were there more that you allowed to have this power? Allowed, traded away. See, I've given up crude deals a long time ago. I like thinking big picture. Uh, but no. Not that I'm aware of, but I also wasn't aware of them. Really, uh, uh, really not allowed back where the temple is, so, you know. Hmm. Interesting. Um. Can I loot the bodies? <laughs> I'm sorry? Is there anything to loot off the bodies? Uh, fuck. Um, I think I think all the all they really had was some scythes, all of them. Can I loot my arrows give, back? Do you? Yeah, I mean, you can take your arrows back. Yeah, you can grab them. You, you take it out of, out of the, the hands. Yeah. <laughs> 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 One yeah. still has an eyeball stuck to it. <laughs> like it a little bit. <laughs> Adds flavor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can you can loot the bodies. Uh, all seven of them only have a scythe. Cool. Alright, I'm taking like, a Like, no personal belongings on them whatsoever. Mm. They all have tattoos on their hands, though. Or a Boris? Let me look at the hands. Maybe it's... not the ones that got shot, but, you know. <laughs> it's... These ones are kind of gross. <laughs> it's an image of the mask you're wearing. Oh! Mmm... I I just <sighs> Masade's falling apart. That's fair. Masade is just thinking about the the egotistical implications of just all of the followers having his goddamn face on them. Including God. <laughs> I mean, you're wearing. Well, at least face. mine isn't permanent ink. <laughs> that is true. It's his um, actual face. Um. Is there anything else you guys would like to do in this tent? Oh lord. <laughs> I just um, I, I got like two more things to do, and then we're wrapping up for the night. I'm just making sure if there's anything else you guys would like to do. Uh, Nasade would just make sure that Matthias and Sarek are uh, currently breathing, and yes. then we're good. Currently. Currently, yeah. Wasn't, but currently. <laughs> it happens to the best of us. You <laughs> get used to it. You're next, Matthias. Thanks. <laughs> Love you too, bitch. <laughs> Listen, it was, I had it set up for either you, you or have. Brad tonight, so... Okay. I, I got I got kills and Brad got crushed. It trade off. Yeah. I got one guy. I got I got one guy. Yeah. I got, got to have guy. a nice relaxing day. <laughs> <laughs> Nasade spa day is just chaos for everyone else. You earned it, bestie. It's Absolutely. Nasade in like a mud bath, still wearing the mask. <laughs> Yeah, like just has cucumbers yeah, over like top of <laughs> Margo has one of the tents on fire. There's a forest yeah. just falling in the background. And so he's like, this is a me day. Yeah, I'm having a good me day. This is self-care. You know, I, I deserve says, this. Samson says I should take care of myself more often. And Maybe he was right this time. You know what? I'll give Maybe him Maybe for once I'll listen to him. <laughs> I'm not going to get a tattoo of your face on me, but... Yeah, no. You know, uh, I will agree yet. with you. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> but if there's anything, if there's anything else you guys would like to do, um, you are ushered out, um, by a few of the, um, call it repair team, including um the orc and the elf that helped you set some stuff up, Matthias. 
and uh-huh. they usher you guys out and say like hey maybe you should head to bed um Ow. while you guys are getting ready for bed uh can i get an intelligence roll from all of you oh fuck. sure womp womp okay. i don't know shit yeah okay okay Mm, to be see. fair, it does kind of make sense that Sadi would see it. Mm-hmm. Actually, you know what? I think it's really funny that Matthias doesn't see it. My intelligence is negative one. <laughs> nice. You got a bird brain. Mm-hmm. Bro. <laughs> um, Sarek and Nasade. Um, both of you, mm. uh while you're getting back to your tent first of all it looks like the tent started to get looted doesn't look like they got very far um i wonder how that happened it's crazy Mm -hmm. um but you all uh matthias um you get back to your tent pretty quickly uh nasade and sarek uh, you, uh, it seems, you can tell a lot of people are, like, kind of doing their best to, like, essentially, like, patch up the tents and shit like that, and try to, like, help audience members away and everything. Um, uh, in the crowd of people, uh, you two notice, um, uh, Quinn, uh, also leaving. Does he have more stuff than he we uh, normally has? Or, uh... No, but he looks fucking terrified. Uh, and then, let me get to the boy. You want to get to the boy? I want to get to the boy. But didn't he already leave? Uh, Let's only leave the tent. Uh, no, he's he's like leaving the circus. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so just Nasade, you want to go? Uh, I'll go with her. I'll see that. I see this happening. I'm like, mm, so you go probably with them. Should've. And then yeah, yeah, um, I will give Matthias this. You notice your two companions walking away. You can follow them if you want. Um, I think he's going to. Yeah. Okay. He doesn't know what, but he's. He's gonna follow him. Um. Well, uh, I'm, I'm assuming you guys can catch up to him pretty quickly. Like, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. He's not exactly the most athletic lad. Um. I wonder why. I mean, it might be because of the limp. <laughs> you don't have to call him out for it. Wow. <laughs> Man, we, we have been really fucking around on this stream tonight. A lot of racism. Uh, we're, we're Man, this mask really brings something else out of me, huh? God damn, dude. Uh, <laughs> You're like a whole new person, Shy. Damn. <laughs> uh, you, we established this. We don't know if it's actually Shy in here. You get That is true. We don't know if it's Shy. Uh, we get it's a, actually uh, true. You all get up to him. Matthias, of course, you're trailing a little bit behind, but the three mm-hmm. of you get up to him. Um, what would you like to do? Uh, check for injury first. Um, I think, well, the thing is, you guys, you guys, you guys essentially meet his pace. He's not stopping. I don't think he's even noticed that you guys are like near him. Uh, hey, how's it going? Uh, he immediately (laughs) flinches and like stops. He's like, Jesus! I'm not used to people picking up on me. Not used to that. I'm doing great, Sarek. How are you? Uh, better, I guess would be the word. Um, just, uh, just wanted to make sure you were doing all right over here. I, uh, you you had a little pep in your step. Is that what they call it? Um, I. <laughs> Frankie, I know. I know Franklin. Um, he, uh, he, he stops and he kind of steps out of line with everyone, like, leaving the 
property. It's not really property when no one really owns it. Um, and he's like, I just, I need to get away for the night. Then I figured I have a great place that I could just step away and not be here. You know? This is good. Um, are you injured? Um, he kind of touches his own chest and, um, looks down. He's like, um, well, I mean, other than the, he gestures at his knee. I'm good. Um. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Frankie, why are you bringing cords over to me? Mother. You... Mother. <laughs> Mother, it's no, time to your own computer cord. <laughs> Do you require this? <laughs> you you use them sometimes, Mother. There's a lot around you. Mother, you said I can't bring live mouse. I bring you part of other mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, that's really good. <laughs> yeah. Um. No, I, th I think I'm okay. I, I'm not. I'm just... <sighs> Not just kind of don't want to be around here, and uh, let's be honest the tents, oh, the bleachers, the everything. I don't, I have this feeling we're not going to be performing for a couple of days, so <laughs> give me a little vacation. Are you going where I think you're going? He looks down and he kind of shrugs. I need you to do me a favor, yeah. Nasadi will look to Sarek. And hold out their hand. May I have the book that I gave you? Oh, oh yeah. Hold on. And he'll get it and hand it uh, back to uh, Nasade. Ow, fuck me, Franklin. What are you doing? <laughs> Take that, bitch. <laughs> he keeps attacking my toesies. Um, you earned that. He's like, put them dogs away. <laughs> put those strippers away. <laughs> He um, wants to pull a, an Ed on you. An Ed to Uzi. <laughs> Just fucking cut off my toe. <laughs> um, yeah. Gotta spark a fuse somehow. They really do. Um, he, he, uh, I'm assuming you give him the book then? Yeah, Nasadi will hand over the book um, and say, return this to him. I apologize, but I know I won't be forgiven very easily. He stops and looks at the book and then looks at you and says, This is like trash. You know that, right? Like, he just collects junk. I want you to return it to him anyway. You can tell him that I took it. None of the others had anything to do with it. It seems oddly specific. Uh, he puts the book in his backpack um, and slings the backpack uh, back over his shoulder. Yeah, no, I can... I can do that. Um, if I had weird request, I guess. Uh, anything else you guys want to cryptically give to him? Um, and Sarek will check his pockets. <laughs> <He'll>... <laughs> Just double check, make sure I get everything on me. He's like, mm -hmm. You have everything. It's like, hmm. damn, bro, he stole my titties. <laughs> no, I'm not going without him. No, <laughs> how will I bring the boys to the yard? <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> oh my gosh, what a fucking timeline to be in. Um, <laughs> I, if this is it, um. Yeah, I, uh, you guys should probably maybe take a little vacation, especially you, Sarek. I think you deserve to not be around here more than any of us, you know? I'm referencing the death. <laughs> Is Brad frozen? Bradley? There he is. Yeah, he was. Crack, <laughs> you were frozen. <laughs> Maybe He's frozen. unless unless <laughs> frozen two electric boogaloo. <laughs> frozen two electric boogaloo. Hold on, it's gonna do the thing where it catches up really quickly. Yeah. Are you there? Yep. 
Okay, you're all yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what happened to me? Yeah. <laughs> Help! <laughs> Help! Help! Anyway, uh, anyway. so, so Quidden. Uh, made the comment that I, I'm referencing the death. Yeah. I, I I didn't I, I didn't hear. Oh, you didn't he, hear any of it. Nope. Oh, um, he nope. said you deserve to take a vacation more than anyone else. Oh, I see. And I when see. you were silent for a second, I thought it was kind of like, "What are you talking about?" And he's like, "I'm I'm referencing your death." Okay, okay. I was like, I didn't hear any of that, so I'm like, "What?" <laughs> You're like, hold on. Uh, he'll uh, he'll go in and he'll cross his arms and look at uh, Quinn and just say. Yeah, you might be right. Maybe uh maybe take a day or something to be able to relax. But even though uh that happened to me, I I'm sorry you had to see it. <sighs> it's a okay, buddy. Um I'm gonna <laughs> um take off before the panic sets back in. <laughs> Masada is actually going to turn to Sarah and be like, wait, you died too? <laughs> wait! <What? laughs> Quinn looks, two? I'm leaving. This is fucking, you guys, <laughs> I hate you guys, this is the worst. <laughs> Matthias, have you died before? Not that I'm aware of. Oh, thank fuck. Oh, thank fuck. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm out. Okay, I'm out. If you guys need me, you know where I'll be. Peace. And uh, he starts walking away. Good luck, Quentin. Zoomies. <laughs> I would hope That's that he has the zoomies. I hope Quentin gets to have the zoomies when he's safe. <laughs> he just, Oswald's just sitting there reading a book, and fucking Quentin's just like, Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Real talk, like, though, he probably would. All like, the trees outside, like, shuffle closer to the window to be like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> What's going on in there? What the fuck is going on in there? Fucking okay, Oswald just does the. And then turns the page. <laughs> and going. Yeah, just, like, not even paying attention to He's like, I don't fucking uh, care anymore. <laughs> he fucking goes on a sugar high. Yeah! <laughs> At least he's lively. <laughs> Thank God he's done having panic attacks. Jesus fuck. <laughs> Mama, and why does that one human with the blonde hair have all this energy? <laughs> hey, if you're having another panic attack, you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Babe, you're not Babe having... you haven't touched your forest bread. Are you okay? <laughs> you haven't touched your first panic attack. <laughs> Babe, you, you keep having the zoomies. You okay? <laughs> I just gotta run it off, man. <laughs> I gotta run all that. <laughs> hey, catch me, gay thoughts. It's a lot of, a lot Babe, of trauma. Babe, you to your comfort, witch. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> the gay thoughts have definitely already caught him, so... <laughs> They tackled him at this point. Yeah, at this point. Um, they took his knee. No, they took no, his wait. knee. No, <laughs> wait. They gave him back a knee. They, so they, they couldn't gave... escape. They Go gave him back a knee. Hold on. You Go can't run from gay. gay thoughts if you don't have a knee. It's true. Jesus. It is known, very, it is widely known that anyone that has gay thoughts loses a knee at any point. Brad, I need you to think about that. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my sweet Jesus almighty. Anyway, um, and unless there's something else that you guys want to specifically do or wrap up with, I think that's where we're going to leave it. You guys go to bed for the night? Yeah, I, I think next session, Matthias will probably talk over with them what happened. Yeah, I think same next session, uh, maybe have it like that night that we can like talk with... Uh... Because like the thought he's like, I'm sorry, you died too. I... <laughs> you what? Um, you what? No wait, hang on, better. You what? <laughs> <laughs> There's too much going on with that. I don't. <laughs> Thank you again for this, shy. I appreciate Hope it. Someone makes me. Give <laughs> You're <up>. welcome. <laughs> um, but other than that, uh, Sarek, you get to level up, um, and take a new ability. 
Um, yeah. X out of that. I don't need that anymore. Those and stuff. And I get to not be in this wig anymore. Yay, wigless. We did. I get it, to guys. not be in this mask anymore. <laughs> Jeez. I thought I thought you enjoyed it. Yeah, I, I do enjoy was, it. I thought that was just your face. Yeah, honestly. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. You're like, God, I'd be pogging all day. I would be pogging all day. <laughs> <laughs> I know I deserve that, but you you don't gotta. Oh, he gotta. Fuck you. No, he I, gotta. I tipped him over and now he's biting me. God oh. damn it! You I, absolutely deserved that. Yeah, I then. deserve that 100%. All the other times you don't, but this time for sure. Mm. For sure. Oh my gosh, this whole wig is sliding off my head because I do not oh. have it on correctly. Looks good. Hold on. Oh shit. A reveal. Wait, Air Air reveal. Oh Hell god. Yeah. Oh damn. 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 Song. Damn. Uh, wigs, <laughs> not even once. There wig we go. hair. You, yeah. Everybody in the in, in Damn, the I audience, wish that were me. They, they all thought that was your real, real hair. This is... You can't tell me you thought this is my... It has a rat tail! It has a rat... That's so good. You seem like, you, you seem like a rat tail kind of kind of gal. Oh. You seem like a rat. <laughs> <laughs> you seem like an Italian rat. I'm sorry. Is that why Frankie always tries to attack you? Yes, that's exactly why. Oh my gosh, that Take feels so much better already. Take this, rat. <gasps> Franklin! Thank you. Franklin. There you go, guys. We did it. We did we it. Beat it. I died. Yeah, we got Sarek to die. You're next, Matthias. Mm. You can put it off for as long as you want, but if you want that second level, you gotta let me kill you. <laughs> Nasada and Sarek do the my man and lock hands. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I wonder what you guys gotta do for level three. I have ideas for level two already. I haven't even gone. To think <laughs> hey, about Sarah, three. can you do me a favor and just hold this scythe right like this? I'm just gonna <laughs> walk back in. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you can. Oh my god! <laughs> this is oddly sharp. Well, they are necromancer size. <gasps> Banklin! Yeah. He. I'm okay. He just. He just swiped at me. Take that. Swipe, I know swiping. <laughs> He's just being a little dick. Jesus Christ, what is happening? You were just being a costume. <laughs> it seems like the later it's gone, he's like, You bitch, come on! He does he's this... rolling 1d3 for scratch. He does, he does this every <laughs> Sunday as well. The later it gets, and he's like, Mm-mm. mm, -mm. mm, -mm. Know, bitch. It's just so funny to see that your animal fucking bullies the shit out of you. It's like everyone else in my life. <laughs> Wait, they came out really sad. Whoa. I didn't mean it that sad. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I didn't Whoa. mean it that sad. Whoa. <laughs> it's the truth. I don't think we anyone disagreed, though. That's no. <laughs> no, it hit too close to home. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Franklin. Okay. Anyway. Um, thank you everyone for coming and hanging out. Um, we'll announce November's stream at some point. I have a feeling it's gonna be a little bit earlier in the month, seeing how later in the month is. <gasps> Thanksgiving! Sorry, that was Frankie again! <laughs> Bless the boy. Why do you keep doing this? <laughs> it's at that time. Yeah? If I attack you enough, you'll understand that it's time for sleep. He won't lay down with me, though. That's the thing. Is he wants me to leave so he can do whatever the fuck he wants in here. Yeah, that's fair. Get out of my fucking room. Yeah, basically, get out of my room, mom. <laughs> get out of my room, mom. God, Frank, you should go. <laughs> oh. um, I'm trying to play mousetrap. <laughs> oh trying to play mousetrap with the boys. You just wake up in the middle of the night and see all, like, you see Frankie and then all these other fucking cats you don't know of just hanging out playing <laughs> mousetrap. I wish that game got a digital release. That's, you know what? That would explain why there was fucking four dead mice in the front of my house today. You're welcome. Oh. They're perfect for the game. <laughs> it's game night, baby! Get it. <laughs> Monday night game night! 
it's not your only game night. I get to have game night too, damn it. Mom says it's my turn with the game night. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can have here. your game night. I'm gonna go have gay night. That's fair. Hey. I support you. There it is, man. You wake up in the middle of the night and see he's on your Discord. <laughs> oh, he's also fucking uh <laughs> streaming. <laughs> he's streaming. Oh my gosh. I would I would watch his stream. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <gasps> the boy. I mean the Able stream went well enough. That was fun. The boy. I the boy. The boy. God damn it, quit holding. He looks me. very pissed off. He's I'm not, gonna... actually. He's just being uh, stupid. I'm gonna fucking kill you. There I would you show my boy, but he's cozy. That's fair. Uh, I don't care if my boy is ever cozy. I'll still pick him up. I respect my boy a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> my boy doesn't respect me, so I don't respect him. You know, that's fair. Right. I mean, my boy doesn't respect me, <laughs> but I'm I'm easily bullied, so. That's fair. Y'all look like you play punchies together a lot. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. <sighs> Anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful night. Thank you for stopping by. We'll announce the next stream at some point. This VOD will be uploaded, so if you'd like to relive the moment of Brad almost crying. Um, <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> uh, but I hope you all have a great night. Um, I'll sign off for now. Goodbye! Bye, Bye guys!